Kaboom! Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! Live from Kingston, Jamaica, broadcasting around the world. Around the world. You're watching the Teach Dem YouTube show. Intellectual, yet stimulating. Fair, frank, and factual. This is Extra Class, streaming to the world and beyond. Beyond. Kaboom! Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! Live from Kingston, Jamaica, broadcasting around the world. Around the world. You're watching the Teach Dem YouTube show. Intellectual, yet stimulating. Fair, frank, and factual. This is Extra Class, streaming to the world and beyond. Beyond. which teach them the number one intellectual blogging panel on the YouTube channel. Good night, everyone. Let me know if you're seeing me clearly. Let me know if you're hearing me clearly. If you're seeing and hearing me clearly, welcome to another episode of Extra Class, episode number 314. I trust that everybody who is in the hearing of my voice and seeing my face, you are doing well. Your family is okay as well. For the people at work on this Friday evening, I trust that your shift will end soon. You will get a chance to be home with your family shortly. For all the people on the road, get home safely. For the people on the day home, ready for listen to teach about some things you have to jam down. Jam rock. Jamaica land we love. Land of food and water, Bob Marley, Houston, Bolt, Vice Cartel, Buddy Bantan, Chelly, and Fraser Price, Elaine Thompson, Fraser Sims, Similar. So, all the more people. Judge Wright, Tanisha Singh, Dog Pop. Some people, peeps, good night. We're there. Soon circle. Kaboom! Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them. You know which teach them the number one intellectual blogging panel on the YouTube channel. Hey yo, yellow! Like, subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification button. Hey yo, we always up to something. Teach them! Hey yo, yellow! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Yes, peeps, big up on yourself. You know, we're there. Um, we're there, we're there, we're there, we're there. We're not talking about some things and go sleep. We're tired. <laughs> dog palm. <laughs> Speaking about dog palm, Mummer, um, I saw an article in which um, Linton's mother was interviewed and she said some things where typically mothers say in relation to. Their children who are reputed violence producers, among other things. Um, I guess we'll get to that soon enough. The COVID situation, I'm going to start with that now. There were 16 more COVID deaths over the last 24 hours, as the data has revealed, with 233 new cases. So Jamaica has recorded 16 more COVID-19 deaths and the deaths which occurred between January 12th and uh, that's wrong. Between April 14th, well, on April 14th, that 24-hour period, um, were confirmed on Thursday, according to the Ministry of Health. Now, ages of the deceased ranges from 2 years old to 87 years. Jaja, 2-year old. Jano Star. The casualties bring the overall coronavirus death toll to 713. However, five other deaths of COVID-19 patients on Thursday are under investigation. And there was also one death during the day that was classified as coincidental. Now, in the meantime, the country recorded 233 new cases from 1,511 samples that were tested. And there were 103 recoveries on the day in question, which was yesterday. The newly confirmed COVID-19 cases bring the total number of cases on record for the island to 43,473. Of the newly confirmed cases, 134 are females and 99 males, with ages ranging from 3 months to 99 years. Whoa! 
from one end of the spectrum to the other. The cases were recorded in St. Catherine 75, Kingston and St. Andrew 59, St. James 18, St. Anne 17, St. Thomas 13, St. Mary 11, Portland 9, Manchester 8, Clarendon 7, Westmoreland 7, Trelawney 6, and Hanover 3. Three. Why are you always more females? You know, it's not always, you know, most times though, Scotty. I have been trying to figure out that dynamics as well. And um, I suppose it could be simply down to the fact that there are more females in the population than males. That could be one of the contributing factors to that. Um, I don't know. Could be that one man normally they run will eat more women than women run men. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, some of us have stretch. See? There are 41 moderately ill patients and 33 critically ill. Hmm? The, the, the 33 critically ill is a significant number. It's always significant when you look at the, the, the number of critically ill people. Because um, it is a suggestion that the death toll may rise soon. So, shall we know? Among the 22,978 active cases, no wonder observation, so as we said, at 41 moderately ill. 33 critically ill the COVID-19 situation continues somebody well a couple persons who I know very well um, tested positive in recent times both of them are now out of the red um, one was fairly mild I mean symptoms yes but fairly mild the other was a little bit uh, uh. but both of them are recovering well and the male was really badly affected um, said he lost his, his, his taste his sense of smell um, one at the time he said he was he was almost unable to speak and so so he has been 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 through it um it's rough rasta we give thanks uh, both of them are still alive um but you know you're speaking to especially the male you know kind of put you in a local zone again where yeah, so judge, I maybe not take some unnecessary risk recently, and and then when I sit down and meds it, for no say so you are alright, fine. Me, my big man, but then my son, like that, that is my greatest concern of all. So you know, we try to keep ourselves on a level so we can keep him on a level, cause we go out. You understand? And regular, almost every week, I'm on the road two or three times at least. You see me? So, I mean, it's rough, peeps. And the thing is that people still bought the place as a COVID not real and it's fake and it fabricated. And so, them people who are sick were never sick them way before. Like, so what am I sick with? You understand what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Peeps, be careful, yeah, sir. No road next week. What do you mean no road next week? Then one know that road for me collect. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, peeps, just be careful. That's all we can say in, 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 in all honesty. Before I go any further, I saw something. Um, not in conventional media yet. But I think there was a shooting downtown. I don't know the status of the person or persons who were shot. What I am aware of is that the police would have been involved in a high-speed chase with the alleged shooters. The car overturned at the Mar near the Marley gas station out in Arborview there. Um, four persons were arrested. I don't know the gender of all four yet. And that at least one gun was seized. So... I'll keep checking that story um, and, and see.
will go on. Probably tomorrow we'll, we'll get some more information. And thing. Um, Barbsy, blessings, my friend. Good night. No, St. James police bag rifle and ammunition during search. The St. James police seized a rifle and <laughs> as me see this one, let me have a laugh at it. So the St. James police seized a rifle and several rounds of ammunition during an operation on Dapper Lane in Montego Bay. Dapper what? Hmm. Dap Dapper Lane in Montego Hills in the parish on Tuesday, April 13th. <clears throat> now reports are at about 3.17 p.m. A police team was on operation in the area when a premises was searched and the Springfield rifle and a magazine containing 5.56 5 rounds were found and seized and no one was arrested in connection with the seizure. Still in St. James, man reportedly found with Jose, gun and ammo, and ammo in St. James. So the mini Uzi firearm and thir well, a mini Uzi firearm and 39 mm rounds was seized during a joint police military operation on Brissett Road in Cambridge, St. James, on Wednesday, April 14th. A man is in custody in relation to the find and seizure. Reports are at about 6.30 a.m. The law enforcers saw the man on the roadway acting in a manner which arose their suspicion. He was approached, searched, and the firearm was reportedly found. His identity is being withheld pending further investigations. So two illegal guns off the streets. In St. James, we give thanks. Yes, and cause them two guns that could have caused too much heartache. Two guns, too much heartache. Yes, and no, you know, strangely enough, <laughs> yo, I did a video yesterday saluting, giving a shout out to the hardworking, professional, decent police officers within the ranks of the Jamaica Constable Air Force. And no sooner after that video was done, there was a breaking story that a police officer was arrested after illegal weapons and drugs were found in his possession. <laughs> but just laugh. Like, yeah, I say, oh, Jaja, I... <laughs> When we see them, we just laugh and shit, man. I was I was on my way out to to um to do an interview at the time and thing. Um Barb just said I took um a vaccine since February. How 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 have things been since? I took pleasure just sending it to you. It did funny but <laughs> They wait for me for me to you know we don't know but Separate and apart from that, it's not like, but I say, oh, all police are angels and latter day saints. Um, I would have accepted the fact that we have corrupt police officers, criminal police officers within the, within the force. But me never did appear them much mind yesterday. We beat them in our next video down the road. What I was treating with in that video is the hardworking, polite, professional, courteous, Helpful, brave members of the Jamaica Constable Air Force. So big up all good police officers out there. You understand? With anything you have good and bad, we are talking about the good ones you now. Speaking about bad cops, big up to the people I'm going to shout out in the comment section. You know, more time we just kind of focus on some topics and keep the thing moving and big up some people as we go along. It's okay, only gave me a little fever and sleep like a baby. <laughs> yeah? I need some sleep in my life, you know. So, I don't know. Jaja, yeah, man, maybe not on sleep. Mm, but sleep not, sleep not, kidnap me these days. I, I, I don't know. Even if I get little, it left me fast. So, yeah, I don't know. Cocaine valued at over $300 million seized in two major drug busts. Lawful. We are dealing with the oath. The narcotics police have made two major drug busts in the corporate area and the St. Catherine within a 24-hour period as, at, as of Wednesday, I suppose. So in the first instance, about 9 p.m. on Wednesday, detectives from the narcotics division and the St. Catherine Soul Police conducted a targeted operation in the Portmore Fishing Village along the Dyke Road in Portmore, St. Catherine. 
The operation was aimed at persons involved in the guns for drugs trade between Jamaica and Haiti. Now, during the operation, a law, a law for, well, the law enforcer seized one 9mm pistol, 1.380 pistol, 11 9mm <coughs> 11 rounds, 2.380 rounds, approximately 5 kilos of cocaine, US $6,400, um, a 32-foot boat fitted with a Yamaha 75 horsepower engine and a Mercury 60. I'm assuming that a Mercury the Mercury 60 is another engine. A Toyota Probox motor car and a Nissan Caravan motor vehicle. It's a lot of things that big up to the police. Then you understand what I mean? I say so. Oh, so we are the police. They more than one bad cop. Oh, who make you arrest them? No good cops. You see the mats? Two males were taken into custody. One is a boat captain. Boat captain and the other is a member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Their identities are being withheld depending further investigation. The cocaine that was seized has an estimated street value of US quarter million dollars. Do the maths. In the second incident, detectives are investigating the circumstances surrounding the seizure of approximately 55 kilos of cocaine at the West Terminal of the Kingston Freeport Terminal on Thursday about 9.45 a.m. Reports are that during a joint operation by the Narcotics Police and the Jamaica Customs Agency, a 40-foot con container was searched and two duffel bags, each containing 25 parcels with cocaine weighing approximately 55 kgs, were found. The seizure, well, the seized drugs in that case had an estimated street value of US $2 million. <sighs> Wow. Wow. It's a lot of estimated value going around. Big up to the police, because the truth is that, you know, a lot of time this drug thing is gun related and death related and yeah. So one police officer get caught in another drug net there. You understand? Um the police then fish him out. Put on net light, then drag him. Big up to the police officer, they will do the thing. You see me? Um, Jaja. Police, so as I said, you know, yesterday we, 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 we heal up the police, them, and <laughs> just after we heal up the police, then we started some, some, some articles with Jaja. Policeman convicted of chopping man to death loses appeal. A policeman who was convicted of chopping a man to death in Portmore, St. Catherine in 2007 has lost his appeal. In handing down its decision yesterday, the Court of Appeal ordered that the sentence of Andrew Watkins must begin from June 2018. He was sentenced to 16 years and 9 months in prison. He was found guilty of the September 2017, so almost it. Or seven up there, sir. He was found guilty of the September 2017 murder of Maurice Francis following a three week trial in the Home Circuit Court in March of 2018. Another cop, Constable Omar Edwards, was charged jointly with Watkins and also tried, but he was found not guilty. The prosecution had led evidence that on the 7th of September 2007, were confused. Watkins and the deceased who reside in one North Greater Portmore had a dispute. When Francis chopped Watkins with a machete multiple times. During the incident, Edwards intervened and ordered Francis to drop the machete after pointing his firearm at him. He complied. Subsequently, Watkins took up the machete and chopped Francis several times, resulting in his death. Oh. Let's see what I go on. Following an investigation, both Watkins and Edwards, who was accused of ass assisting Francis, in France's murder was charged in relation to his death. Now, attorney at law, C.J. Mitchell and Venice Brown represented Watkins. Then you chop the man to death, brother, you know, just all the time. What you mean? What, what kind of appeal are they You yeah, understand? Man tell us how you put on your cutlass, you put it down, and you take it up and chop up, man. Then what, what kind of appeal they want appeal? Appeal for sense? Ms. Sherry Lee, thanks so much for the contribution, Empress. Big up to the people in the comments where, you know what I mean? Um, Gozuma, where are David? Architect, mad. 
So, we've seen both sides of the JCF coin, the good side, the bad side. Yeah, big up to all of the good police officers. Them, I appreciate the one them. I appreciate the continued bravery, the continued efforts in trying to get some semblance of normalcy within the Jamaican society. I know it is very difficult and a most challenging task, especially with the lack of resources and how far we are lagging behind, technologically speaking, also from the lack of vision from superiors, inclusive of the Ministry of National Security, the Commissioner's Office, and a bag of chips. You understand? So big up to the foot soldier them. We're out there a fight the fight. Big up to the investigators them. We are crack the cases them. You understand? And big up to the police officers them. We're out there try to make a difference. We give thanks. Zane, um, there's a link pinned. There's a link um, in the, the pinned comment is the contribution link. YouTube disabled super chat from a long time. I'm not too, too dwell upon them. You understand? But there's a link up there. So if you wish to contribute, you can. The link is placed at the top of the chat. It's a pinned comment. And thing. Uh, government need to invest in sniffer dog. But as far as I know, there's a canine unit in, in the Jamaica Constabulary Force. I don't know. I remember when they found the guns down in Norway the other day. Um, the Caribbean Search Center was out with, with in conjunction with the, with, the, with the canine unit. So... As far as I know, the, that capability exists within the JCF. Why it is not utilized more, then that may be the question that we should ask. But as far as I know, the K9 unit in the JCF is equipped to a degree to treat with that. Why it is not utilized more is another question, um, I suppose. So, I don't know. Um, and then I could be wrong, but I think in the canine unit, there are dogs there with the capabilities to, to sniff for weapons, to sniff for drugs, to trap people, them something there. But I don't know why that arm of the, the force is not utilized more often. I, I couldn't tell you. I remember in the Jasmine Dean situation, they had dogs trying to pick up on her trail and stuff for a while so mana no yeah D and J but them not always see neither bro yeah if them sick sure absolutely but we can't take it for granted said them always say and every time police are the foolishness to them like kinda every time one of the foolishness to them so if police as a police are the foolishness, then them deal with it. You understand? Yeah, man. <clears throat> Hanover man charged with double murder and much more. <laughs> ah, boy. Blessings run. Where are David? Detectives from the Hanover Police Division arrested and charged 27 year old Christopher Martin. <laughs> Otherwise called Tongue. I mean, it's big in your to sniff for gun. Mm. Corruption and corruption. The resources are there, but nothing changes until they get rid of these leaders. I don't think enough resources is there still, S. Lewis. Just, just to say the resources are there is kind of a little bit arbitrary. You understand? And, and probably a, a bit of an exaggeration. Yes, resources are there, but is the resource sufficient to deal with the magnitude of the crime situation currently in the country? And yes, corruption is there. We can't deny that either. You yeah, understand? But to say that, I not, not, not think the resources are there to treat with the, 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 the full subness of the, of, of the situation presently. Hmm? Again, I could be wrong still. You yeah, understand? 
sometimes I do say things because I can, I guess. I don't know. But I understand why I have to level still in a family. See, but corruption is a, is a big part of the problem for you still. Can't go around that. Alright, so tongue you know. I could talk about tongue. Jamaican kills, Jamaican kills each other like it's a hobby. Why? Ain't that the truth? Detectives from the Hanover Police Division arrested and charged 27 year old Christopher Martin, otherwise called Tong, of Bachelors Hall, Lucy in the parish with the offenses of murder, conspiracy to commit murder, shooting with intent, illegal possession of firearm, and the legal position of ammunition following an incident in the community on Wednesday the 31st of March. So Martin was charged on Tuesday, April 13th. The charges arose in relation to the murders of 53-year-old Neville Allen of Shaw Drive in Lucy and 18-year-old Aldion Brackett, otherwise called Tallman of Malcolmites, also in the parish. Now, reports are at about 11.20 a.m., Three men were fixing a wall when Martin, armed with a firearm, approached them and opened fire. Allen and Brackett were hit and later taken to hospital where Brackett died on arrival and Allen succumbed to his injuries while being treated. The third man escaped unarmed. Now on Monday the 5th of April, a question and answer session was conducted with Martin and charges were laid against him on Tuesday the 13th of April. Now his court date is being finalized. There's a lot of charges that. You understand? Um, I don't know what tongue getting himself in that. Yeah, so I go on out. Life and death is in the tongue. I, I suppose. Um, I covered this story. Unfortunately, I had to. It is never... I don't enjoy covering stories like this. That, that, that just me that. You understand? Um, yeah. As I said, YouTube is not a hustle for me, it's a job. And and certain things I just wish me not to deal with. Like, seriously. Zina has been the man, like, seriously. Yeah, I've been the man for that. <laughs> four, well, it was four at the time. Five Jamaicans died along Highway 2000. Well, from injuries they sustained along Highway 2000 on Monday, the 12th of April. Where a minibus, the driver apparently lost control. It flipped a couple of times, ended up in a media, and people flew left, right, and center from the bus. Um, apparently, I don't know because I, I I I read somewhere where one of the survivors said that while they were in transit, they heard some sound coming from from the bus. You know, where it's on, they would have told the driver. They said that the driver slowed down, um, listened, said no sound, and proceeded to pick up speed. Apparently, whatever happened, I don't know if it was a mechanical issue, but he lost control of the vehicle. The vehicle flipped two, three times based on some reports, and it was gruesome. Zane? But before me talk about a little thing, I want to say a next little thing. And yes, I did a video, but I never do no video with nobody. Spread out, sprawl out, mangled, broken up, bones protruding, blood all over the pavement. I have spoken about this a number of times and I think I something more and dress again. As the truth is that, you know, more, enough people don't listen to it because they know we're not in a source and the controversy and the gossip and things. So some people don't find it entertaining because we're not entertaining. We try to bring a little substance and a little balance to the discussion. But we know a few people will hear. And the truth is, most time I come here, I preach to the choir. Zane, um, boy, we're going to need seatbelt in a bus here. Why? Jaja. It'd be just surprised that more people not, more people didn't die there, Andre, based on the situation, based on when you look at the whole thing. It's it rough, brother. Damien, big up yourself in a Sir White. Give thanks, you know, I appreciate it. But this is this is my thing. How many of us sitting down here 
would have been comfortable seeing videos being circulated left, right and center with her loved one or loved ones mangled body front and center all over the place like how many of us would be comfortable seeing a video like that how many of us would be able to sit and watch those videos of our loved ones face down on the asphalt with some people's face totally destroyed broken up in bits blood everywhere how many of us would be comfortable with visuals of our family members or loved ones in that state um which video you love rosie and way too often when these things happen our first inclination is to video if you pay attention to, to a lot of the videos and the audio you would hear people saying that that man is not dead and this man is dead because they still move. I mean 11 people were taken to the hospital of the 11 one died because initially 4 died on the spot apparently 1 died in hospital those persons who were videoing if if oh the one i did on the jcf oh give thanks empress rosie nobody know watch you still you understand you know you know them videos there are enough people don't watch them because yeah try you know what i mean talk about something uplifting and positive you know people don't love that so watch a big up to the few people that are watching i appreciate you know. many times if the people doing the videoing moments after whether it's a shooting or an accident would simply try to administer some cpr we would have a few less fatalities from these incidents than we have had if people were caring in a well i mean some people don't know the first step to up like somebody get a gunshot wound like you apply pressure to the wound and all of them something and like the first thing we do I, I take out the phone and pressure the record button brother you understand what I mean I say like it, I've said it before I, I, I hope that there is never a time when I am on the road and my life rests in the hands of some Jamaicans. Zane, because there's a great possibility that I will die from the lack of help that would have been rendered because of the lack of help. Worse, if some of them know me, what? Big vlogger in an accident, commentary, same place instead of trying to help the teacher. You yeah, understand what I mean? I say? That is the, the state of affairs that we currently treat within this country. And these are simple things. Uh, nobody no need to tell nobody, brother. You yeah, understand? But even if you don't know CPR, Garfield, man, good God, man, try to do something, man. Try to do something. If I am a try. I've seen people try and do the wrong things and probably would have led to fatalities before. But gosh, man. It can't be. I just bought video in so brother, brother. You understand? And the most gruesome and graphic things are easy video for some people. Like, I'm not, I'm not appreciate it still. I'm not telling a lie. Zane. Because the truth is, many of them video, if you have video, it, Based on how I do my thing, majority of these videos, I cannot even use them. You understand? Because the gore and the blood and them something, them something that are really in line with the YouTube community guidelines and them something. Zane, 
Like I don't have a good video of the bus. And there are so many videos of people sprawled out on the ground. Like we need to do a little bit better, man. I'm... <laughs> The, the people on the ground, they have family, you know, they have children, some of them, seeing like, when, when, when you record that video there, and send it around the place, and a child see them mother or them father sprawl out, broken up, mangled body on the roadway there, how does that child process that? How does that child deal with that? I mean, the whole world is connected now, brother. You understand? Would you like to sit down and watch a video of your father or your mother in that condition? All me I say, when we do things more time, peace, just put yourself in that position. How would you feel if the situation was flipped? Like, make we have a look up compassion, no man. Make we have a look up compassion. So even if you can't assist medically in terms of Applying CPR and them something there. Show a look of compassion, man. You understand? Why am I not still? It's sad. I tell you, it's sad. And as I said, the possibility is that a few more Jamaicans may have been living today if. Our people were just a little bit more compassionate. You understand? Instead of your first inclination is to video. It should be to render assistance. Hmm? Sometimes just setting somebody a little bit different way can help save them life. Cause probably what them set, probably them 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 rib or punch of them lungs. But just something man. Probably lift up somebody's head. You understand me? I say, probably find somebody. Something. Probably get some water. Something. The first thing we reach for our phone, brother. As somebody who deals with video and treat with videos, I not appreciate that rude boy. Because I don't need to see nobody on the ground, you know. What I really needed to say, okay, a fatal accident occurred there, so this are the, the bus, this are the next truck. I don't, don't need to see nobody on the floor, brother. I don't like me can use it. But you're going to use it, though. We lack compassion as a people. We have lost our spirit of caring for each other. Generally speaking. We have become a very selfish people. It's just all about us and nobody else. And who can record the viral video. But we are talking about a life here, so brother. We are talking about somebody who are family members. I may ask you again, how would you treat with having to sit down and watch your family member in that state? You wouldn't love that family. So why you capture somebody else's family member in that state? Hmm? Right now, if someone was a smuddy or broken a smuddy place, we're not a record. And we see people up on the road that are dead and that we're on the record. I not mean, get it. No, just some additional information. And I'll, I'll just say this to say that I know people who know the driver who don't drive with the driver. I know a taxi man who said they would have never drive with that driver. So he has a reputation for being reckless on the road. I, I can't say he was being reckless at the time. But based on conversations that I have had with people who know said driver, who are familiar with said driver, this may have been coming for a while now. Awesome video you put out today to the youths them. Teach Kevin now. Blessings in the Father, Kevin. 
I hope the youths them need to hear it, hear it, you know, brother, brother. You know, sometimes we can preach to the choir and the people that we need to hear. Because, yo, enough of them youths are really too pre my thing. Because we don't do, the, we don't do for them type of thing, you know. You understand the brawling thing. You understand? So, you know what I think, God. I'm mostly working class people pre my thing. My, most of my people them who watch a the channel and start from age 25 go up to 65 in other uh, settings. You understand what I mean, say? Yeah, man. So uh, that's how I think. Uh, yeah. It's really and truly sad when, when, I heard, when I listened well, when I read about how some of the, the victims got to that location. Some people went to visit, a young lady went to visit their family in Mandeville and was heading home. Another lady was going to the wharf to, to clear some goods. I'm gonna know you, peeps. It just these things are just sad, yo. If I know Jamaicans are killed Jamaicans, we are dead upon the road. We, yo, just just too much death, family. Like, like I mean, I know who else it affect, but trust me, it, it, it's just too much sometimes. You yeah, understand? Everywhere you turn a debt, bruh. Everywhere you turn a just debt, 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 debt. Marriott, what are going, bro? Me, me tired of debt, family. Make, make life brain for, for once, man. But I don't recall a day in this country that there's... No death story somewhere along the line. Like, when I sit down and I look at the topics them tonight, I need to stream, you know, because I said, I have to come and come talk about being dead again. I said, I have to go to my video, man. And then I said, some people are going to cuss and say, you're teaching a stream one week straight, then you're not about to stream again. Then, let's go for all of these simple fresh, man. <sighs> Father claims self defense after fatally shooting son. <laughs> when this incident happened, I heard of it. I saw the articles, people sent me stuff. I did not do a video. Why did I do the video? Because I'm tired of the murder business. But the following morning I woke up and I started to see some stuff saying that the father report said he was defending himself. And based on what I heard and read, I found that peculiar. I started working on the video. When I finished the video and started the render and export process, one of my very loyal viewers sent me a video, a CCTV video. Then another loyal viewer sent me another video. So I stopped the export and render pro um, process, watch the video. So that is how I, I got to incorporate that in it. When I sat and watched that video, then I read back the article where the father was saying he was defending himself I try to figure out if there's another video where me now see, or if the video where me see has been edited, or something. Because as far as I could have seen, I didn't see where he was in any mortal danger and needed to have defended himself. As a matter of fact, based on what I saw, he was the aggressor from the beginning. He was the one who walked down on his son. Like... <sighs> Why are we so angry? Why are we so angry? How did we get to become this angry as a people? How? When? When we reach the state of anger, yeah? When you reach a state of anger where if a man and his son have a dispute, it will end in a either the son kill the father or the father kill the son.
when we get so angry, brother. When we get to us, when we get so angry, where a man can't have a dispute with the next man and not end in debt, brother. Shana said poverty and hunger. Mr. Knight is not a poor man. Mr. Knight is not a hungry man. Shana. Mr. Knight has been doing well for himself and his family by all accounts. So Mr. Knight is not hungry. He's not poor. Both in the Miss Daisy. When are our why? Both of them. When and why we get so angry? You want your son of a dispute, brother. That will happen. Parents and them youth will have dispute. But it's not like the man have the gun upon him person and pull him gun. The man go for him gun. And next man did they upon one of the workers try to tell the elder, say, calm down, brother. Calm down. The brother walk him away to him vehicle. The man come back rasta. You see how well, you see how well walk but look problem. Because we egos bigger than we brother. Right now, most Jamaican men them egos six feet taller than them and three hundred pound heavier than them, brother. Most men in Jamaica them egos six feet taller than them and three hundred pound heavier than them, bruh. Means a youth by nature, me not be not deal with foolishness. If people know me know that. Me not me not a time for foolishness. You understand? But means a youth when now go go out and me oh you go make no trouble, brother. You just know see you now just come walk for me. You understand? But like if if anybody ever tell me say teach them trouble them, I lie them I tell. If if there's anybody in the world who tell us say me trouble them, is lie that me not me not me not do that something. Like. You understand? But when I go sit down and be dose, I like, you come walk by with no, bro. But we don't give problem them with the brother. You understand? And that's no nonsense as I am, family. Me can see some things and know, say, yo, me if you take with myself, because I want way that I go lead, brother. You see, trouble you left it, man. Apparently, the son is a licensed firearm holder as well. And based on what I hear, when he raised his arm, he was saying, I don't have no gun, so I had with gun. Something to that effect. You understand? And the man walked down, kicked him son in his chest, shoot, because it looked like him did fire one shot. Because alarm, when I look at the CCTV, there is some, some um, signature. Discharge signature if you look on the video very carefully. First, when the brother did a walk, he will run off. And when he walked down to his son, the man kicked him in the chest, shoot him. Then when his son collapsed, the man kicked his son in the head. Look like he didn't want to drive over his son. A father and son. So when Mr. Knight would then do to a stranger like a me, brother, if Mr. Knight had treated his son like that, how... How would Mr. Knight treat a total stranger like me, bruh? So you shoot the youth. Then you kick the youth in his face. And I go talk about a different, a different, different yourself from what? Different yourself from a, from, a, from a verbal dispute with your son. When we get so angry as a people, brother. We ego too tall and too heavy rasta. I tell you earlier now we ego six feet taller than we and change it pound heavier than we bruh. We ego a jaw we dumb bruh. We ego a step man we brother. And now we allow it for grow so tall and get so fat.
now he has not even been officially charged. Me hear how file are prepared for send to DPP if you rule it. All them things that make a DPP office look like a potty shop sometimes. You know, what kind of file you need for charge the man? You know, see the man killing son, brother? The police say them, they, they, are, they are aware of the CCTV footage, but they are in the process of verifying its authenticity. What do you mean? Now the two men, they may see on the video, bro. We soon talk about the video again, because the video not really mean much in the Jamaica court system. And it's two brothers kill one man at one gas station and then walk free. So, based on how them did set, you can't identify them face. The two brothers, them they dead after still, after them come out. One, one next time, you know, them, them leave, drop a water bottom. Right now. Hmm? I see man a beat up woman for video and police I said them no no conclusive evidence says that a man they beat up the woman there. But we will soon get to that. So video footage don't really mean much boy that's an idea you know. Because we have some very good lawyers about here. <laughs> I feel like I didn't need a look laugh there. God to I don't know star. I don't know, I don't know. No, no, tet, no, teta milli man, enough for we man, enough for we angry brother. Ali, boy, I, I couldn't tell you anything necessary to them, but I tell you, say, Crystal, what go on, Empress? But I tell you, say, Missy Cases. Yeah? Missy Cases, where? Well, at that case specifically. Right, right, the Lord's child. But understand that. Where, where the two brothers them shoot the man at the gas station. I mean, clear as day. I still have that video there. And the man them walk free. The, the lawyer said, you can't identify the two man them. You don't need to ask their face. You understand? Eh? We need some... Why is... That is not even because look here, you yeah, ask yeah, a Paula a joke, you know. Paula should have nothing to do with this, brother. And the police them for do them thing. So things like this are now kind of bring all the DPP office in a dispute and in the conversation when I need for be. What kind of file you are waiting for the DPP if you prepare? What kind of what kind of ruling you are waiting for the DPP if you hand down? Like, I guess I am ignorant to the law, so I don't even know. You see me? I don't have no evidence to substantiate that in S. Lewis. I can't say that still. You understand what I mean? I say, I don't just get up and make broad statements like those. So I can't substantiate still. I mean, you're free to say that, but I can't say that. You understand? I try to be fair to everybody who I treat with. And um, I work on, you know, hard coal facts. So, yeah. Yeah, but due process sometimes, no needed medium and anything clear as day. What do you mean? Hmm? You shouldn't do that, Damien. I need to see her in a car. I want to see her in a car. But she had to get a whole of her. Jamaica is a joke then. No, you know, Kevin Dung. Jamaica is not a joke. Jamaica would have helped to intercept many criminals on their way to do folly or after doing folly or doing things before. You know. So Jamaica is not a joke. What I'm saying is that sometimes automatically automatically in our heads would feel that because video evidence is involved it is an open and shut thing but the law no work so you understand so me can in the video i you not see my face you just see my head back then it's not my head back alone looks so. up you understand and if you have good lawyers because what you want to say about them if a man can get off him cleanse them him is a good lawyer you understand that is what a good lawyer do they them 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 free them them clients then you have lawyers who can bore holes in them things there. It's just it's just a thing. You understand? So it's all about angles and quality and them stuff. So Jamaica is a very good initiative, man. Jamaica would have helped to, to, to treat with some things before. And I'm sure we'll continue to do so as more cameras are added to it and it becomes, you understand, more widespread and thing. But I'm just saying, I'm going to understand this. Video evidence is not always as conclusive as... You understand what I'm saying? Mm. 
Now, back to sad story. Right. Um, so I just saw, I just see nature of the thing. As I say, you know, the law, <laughs> the law is a strange place. And, and what we think as laymen sometimes was no water in the court of law. You understand? Um, the court of law is, is not the court of public opinion. Whatever we want to think about it, that is just the reality. You understand? We know of many cases where we know say the man guilty, a man walk. And we know of many cases where we are saying, hey, the man innocent, man. And the man will bust this case. And the case bust in face. You understand? That is how the court of law operates. The court of law and the court of public opinion is two different places. You understand? And, and, and whether we want to like it or not, it's just something that we have to accept. Court of law, court of public opinion is two different things. Zain, it is just the harsh reality. Yes, and the truth is, the court of law in Jamaica, the judiciary, let me not say the court, the judiciary on a whole is operating with shackles on hands, legs, everywhere because of our policy makers, which, 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 which is our politicians. Our politicians make laws, they, 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 they implement laws, and the judiciary act based on the confines of the laws that are made by the politicians. So sometimes some things happen and we blame the judge and we blame the officer, the DPP. The truth is that them can't do nothing about it because that is what the law says and that they pan the book. You understand? That is what the law says. The judge them not make the law. The police them not make the law. The DPP them not make the law. Our politicians make the law. So we are quick to blame the police. We are quick, quick to blame the DPP. We are quick to blame the judges. But the truth is that the politicians them need for shoulder more blame because they are the ones in guard house threatening to kick down each other. You understand? Beating off. Varnish off a decks and the laws of the land continue for languishing medieval times. You know what I'm Them are the problem. So a lot of times, you know, and, and, and many people won't accept this, but the truth, and as I say, you know, what I always try to do, <clears throat> like it or don't, is try to bring some balance to the discussion. It is easy to get up and say, the police corrupt. We have corrupt police officers. It is easy to get up and say the DPP corrupt. And, and, and people tend to forget that the DPP is an office. It is not no one person. Yes, we have the main prosecutor, which is the head of the office of the DPP. But the DPP is made up of multiple lawyers. We, we tend to, to say the DPP and mean one person. And many times... The cases that we are talking about is not Paul or prosecutor. But it's the next story for you next time. We can't bother go down the road tonight. You understand? And it is good. It is quick. It is easy for us to get up and say the judges are corrupt. And we don't sit back. We don't step back and look and say, okay, fine, we have corrupt police officers. Fine, the office of the DPP has treated with some things before where kind of questionable. Fine. Judges make some decisions where you have to scratch your head and the side there, you know. You scratch your side there, you scratch your own so you scratch on your neck, you scratch all your foot butter when you say That look fishy. But the truth is, if we are to be fair to the police, to the office of the DPP, to the judges, they are shackled, constrained, and confined by the laws according to the Constitution of Jamaica. Who would make them last there? The political representative, them both PNP and JLP. Because when they come on to certain things, it's only the party, we are not my party, responsible. PNP and JLP. You understand? From we get independence, both parties are formed government at varying times. Both of them responsible. 50 50 too. <clears throat> and I like one more responsible 50 50. 
no better herring, no better barrel or barrel herring. No better nothing. You understand? So nobody come around here so with the politics now. Because I don't know me running around with that. Zane, Jamaica's problem start with the politicians them and they continue with them. Then uh, Fox, you know, people could have started getting tired of them. I'm going to pull on a shirt, man, and lose some on the belly fat to no hat. Uh, myself, a belly big too. You know what I'm saying? No, some people are sour food. I'm going to calm down, man. I'm on no blood pressure and then sitting there. I'm going to know. I don't have to call a name. You don't know what I'm going on. I want to start here and I want to continue it. You understand? Every day, God, God knows, go make nice and beat decks. And the affairs of the country continue. And police are being, being blamed left, right, and sent. And the police have to get some blame because some of them now do the investigation. But when the police them investigate, put a case together, and the laws say the judge can only do this, then what the police them can do? When the, the, the lawyer from the DPP, when the prosecutor from the DPP office prosecute the case, and then the law say, this is where you can go, or you can go, yes. So then what am I going to do? When the judge have the sentencing guideline, and say, boom, so, then what the judge are going to do? The judge can't sentence a man outside of the parameters of sentencing, you know, or who create them parameters there. I know the judge do it. I know the, the prosecutor do it. I know the police do it. But we, we, we love get up. And, and, and broad brush everything and everybody when all we need to do is just look at the thing for what it is and call a spade a spade our politicians are the biggest problem in a Jamaica PNP and labor right together argument done yes some other people need to pick up them slack and sort out themselves you understand but a them is the biggest problem they are the ones who make the policies and make the laws and if you make full full policies and full full laws, then you're going to have a full full justice system. That's simple man certain and not nah, 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 add up, you know. But we just love blame police and love blame Paul and love blame judge. And we not blame the politician and we see him one go one up behind, back a truck and ring bell. And when next what then do beat pot cover and 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 and, and, and then sitting there a political meeting. We are a problem too. I want to get up and blame police every time and DPP and judge. The politicians, them are the problem. And no matter what them do about you, we vote for them same way and we defend them and we war for them and we run with a boy and say, your party this and your party that and my party are the best party. So right now, the birthday party be interested in a brother. I'm, I'm blowing on her name. You see, I'm going to tell her. So sometimes we are we unfair to some people in the process and the people don't feel I get the real beat when I give them. It is a politician that is the, the cool hard truth. Fun great bush. Yeah, so I mean say. Yo, yeah, I mean say, man. I could be fair to it thing. You understand? Me could be fair. The police and get some beating, you know, and get me wrong, you know. Because more time them investigation tardy and the file them what them give to the DPP, they even make no sense. Poor the DPP them sometimes. Not the DPP, poor the prosecutors them sometimes. You understand? Because some file what them get, they even forgot in a file cabinet. What them I go do? They don't, the, 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 the prosecutors don't investigate. They prosecute based on the files that they are given. Who give them to them? The police them. You understand? When the prosecutor them prosecute some man, and a who sentenced them and I prosecuted them and I judge them. When them got court of appeal, a who acquit them. And the prosecutor and the judge them. You understand me? I say, so make we make we make we be fair. And 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 that is all I try to get. Me not me not in me not, me not, me not force people to think how I think or think or me want you to think. Me share my opinion or perspective on the matter and you figure that out yourself. You understand me? I say? But me think a little bit of fairness should be added and balanced to the conversation. Zimmy, the PNP and the JLP continue to be a millstone around the necks of Jamaicans. We are joined both here. When I say we are joined, we are joined with We're political representatives. You understand? Because they can't do anything and get to with it. You know? So they make a law of them so they safe. When I say what are going on here? Uh, it look like I could not look on car. I don't see I look on it. I don't see what I don't see. I don't, I don't even want to look. We have been so we have been so trained that our go-to 
responses are the police corrupt, the DPP corrupt, the judge them get by out. Some of the poor could judge them. Some of the poor could judge them. Then they even know people to talk to people to get by out. God, them have to live a certain type of lifestyle. The poor could judge them, them hands tight so with some unnecessary fool fool laws where politicians do. I don't know how to blame the poor could judge them. Some of the poor could judge them can't for bother most of the time. You understand? So my poor look at prosecutor them. They need to know what to do not most of the time. See? The, 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 the politician them man and, and we need boy I mean even know. But you see where they are talking no phone they are cost. I must say, you know, teach a fool because when I politics I'm a gun and road I mean, say someone in about a one big stone on the side. No one may talk to every night about politics or not. All a stone on your side, man, and go over so. Like, much I mean, if you talk to you about your politics, you, 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 know, you know, you know, yes, boy. Look on the side and then see. So I want to see him and I go to jump up and chuck. Another son of Mr. Knight, Cena Knight, and brother of Ruel has publicly stated that his brother was killed in cold blood by his father. You understand? It would, have, it would also appear that Ruel was really and truly well loved by the persons who worked for him, with him. And generally he seemed to be somebody who was well liked as the outcry has been far and wide. <laughs> We're too angry, brother. No, no, me is not a violent man in a being, but some people get licking on the inside, man. Every day you know come. I wanna say, you know what true are talk teach and then soon up and one orange chuck and one green chuck, you know. Stole it on the ribs, man. Like, crack on the ribs, see, a little while. And... Cause we are part of a problem with training, brother. You understand? We now call a speed, a speed, and make these. But you've been telling us in Jamaica, you know. Now, politicians are about to again, we feel like a them serve the people, and everybody feel like the people are a servant to them about you know. That's how politicians feel about you know. We now serve no politician, brother. You understand what I mean? We not nah serve no politician, sir. You see me? Yeah, man. Stone on the side, man. And no, like, say, don't you foolishness. Boy, you look good. Hold that stone, yeah, man. I may mean, see you need to feel it good on that side and the next side. You just walk home with it and your two sides, so. No, say, I teach them. You are two stone, because you don't know here. Jump up and chuck and a ring bell and a blow out of that lick pad cover. What if it bill man? I run with some man when they come out with them curry goat and five bills. You understand? I weave for two. Like, what is it you laughing about? Me? Be serious. Like, be serious. Like, be so be serious. It's we are problem because we make them money I feel like it no matter what they do. Not no matter. You understand what I mean? I say? Yeah, man. Kong, someone in on a fire that one on the nose bit. I mean, it's not a violent youth, you know? But Kong for Rod, man, and stone aside sometime, man. Paint dark in orange and green and all of them sitting there. Poor dark, them. Then when you look at the whole place full up of orange and green paraphernalia. And then with five years to come here and cuss again. And then the sad thing is that a black dog and monkey setting, six and one and a half dozen are next, brother. Nobody if you make a difference. Nobody if you make a change. When everybody in our position, oh, we are the best option. We will save Jamaica. We will do this differently. We will give every use a house up by Cherry Garden. And when the land done, we build high rise up Cherry Garden. 
And when we done the cherry garden, we go along mountain and Jacksil and and, and Smoky Vale and Chantry Hall. You understand? And these places. Every road will be covered with carpet. There will be milk and honey flowing. I'm dead for young girl on here. You understand? And when the party that was in opposition become the government, it's like, <coughs> they know no made the with them big permit, then, then, I want, how come? Then, what? Yeah. Then my stomach for five years come here and try to figure out. No, then I'm People, we have to go fix it with self. All of them can't fix it. They don't want to fix it. Because it is not. It is not financially beneficial if they fix it. If no problem, no, they, they can't make no money. Because you're going to make money when everything good. Then, you know, sis. Then, you know, sis, a problem if you did it. We don't watch Game of Thrones. We, 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 we look at finger self. We no 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 prudent things there. Yeah, no. yeah, true. The man, the man, chaos is a ladder. So the man them use chaos to climb the richness ladder. If you have no problem no day after them fix it, how oh, them are going to reach? So how oh, we are going to stay rich or get richer if we don't create some problem for we fix? Oh, we are get rich or see rich if we fix the problem then. How many you them are going rich to? How we are keep them people they poor if we don't create some sore and lock some door and unequal some score? All right, never mind. See, man, you see that ring, but you take all the bell up. Hey, boy. Top of nice my ears, man. You know, so much things about you. I mean, no one has a bell nice on me. Move fast with the bell, man. You see, not even school, like it, boy. And them, the bell, they even have two ring of school again. I saw an election, it's sitting there. You press them, man. Like, but in a ring, then they all bell it. But tell that all of them, man. Tell us so we don't pick no team about here, you know. A two P my thing there. And I people and one next P. And then if you get into the P the right you now still. You see me? Chaos is a what? Chaos is a ladder, brother. People use chaos to climb. Yeah. I also did a video. I owe me a beat. Eh, green people, them man. Orange people, them man. You know, the regular beating people, them, them, they not behave. So as killer say, for you not behave a grave, man. I not killer say that. All kind say that. What killer say? A straight nag, a straight flogging from them nagging teacher. <laughs> All kind say, if them not behave a grave. Killer say, teach, teach. Listen me. A straight flogging from them nagging. Do it, you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, as me I say, you know. Me tired of them. Well, me been tired of them still. You understand what I say? Me been tired of them. Like, I know yesterday or the day before, or last year or the day before, but me been tired of them. From the start, figure out things to myself. Me, me, me tell them, you know, me I grew up as a youth, you know, what I wanted to become was a political representative, you know, I represent more, I can represent some people, you know. Then as I grew up and said, then me and said, then 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 this not represent me, then me can't represent nobody then. You yeah, understand? Because me as a man, we are gonna say Andrew, between me and you know, that doesn't make no sense in a brother. You know, you are sensible. Like you are prime minister, you, know, you feel like that makes sense. And then I go love that. Then me and say Andrew, between me and you, like you know, sister that that that's a foolishness. Eh? And me and say Cham. Then you come from down there, so where every man I kill everybody down there, and you are security minister. You see that? No make no sense, now, brother. Then between me and you, like we are supposed to be rich. Then yes, 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 he said. Then you can't secure your place, you secure your country. That no make no sense, you. Yeah, sir. Then me I look on Chris and me I say Chris. Then brother, 
then suppose you take sick around here, which hospital you have? You don't see the hospital now about you. Between me and you, like, you see the hospital around you, sir. Where you go? You go far into. Then I go like that and sit me. Then if me did over, over so and, and, and then me I say, before I'll Peter left, then me I say, Peter, then then she say, You, 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 you can never become Prime Minister about your brother. You know, people don't like you like that, you. Lefty. They don't they don't like me. I tell you God Almighty truth. Cause I reason with them. I'm a brother. They that don't make no sense. Then Mr. Right, you then we me see you on video beat up the LA today. Then you feel say you still feel take care yourself, man. Then now we go talk back to the people them boy man we are beat to man. Then they say we can't go talk to them now. All you forget, eh hey boy. I mean, it's a different you tell them. Yeah, we know we not grow no corner with nobody, you know. You just keep it on a level. So they wanna like me. So they wanna see light at day in our politics. So we run a back bench run, so run a back of your back bench, and then put me. Run a back of your building like. Yeah, and so you have people who go write notes and come give about what I go on around there. So they wanna give you no way if you got you. So politics will not fit me. You understand? Cause as a youth, I want to make a difference. Then I give you opportunity because you're not confirmed to your platform. You understand? Mm -hmm. Brother, Joseph Hunt, big up yourself, Mass Hunt. You see Jamaican people, if you're not orange or green, them deal with your mean. You understand? You no matter how much money you spend on your scene. You see me? I say, them look on you like your booty you lean. Then there are people here, yeah, them not easy. Independent candidate. You have a few independent candidates who do things before, you know, but them are people here. Yeah, them yeah, oh no, oh no, no. Uh, right now, uh, Joseph, I tell me for uh, Joseph, good as a vote for me. That's how we roll as Jamaican. Joseph, then said, then uh, teach him, go, eh? teach him, eh? brother. Also, uh, 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 oh, I stick to him if he's going on. Loyalty, you understand? Blessings, Lady G, how you doing? Yeah, man. I saw what Jamaican can see him. I say Asta Black man say my run as independent candidate and people nominate Asta Black you know, and I like saying can just enter see you know. somebody have to nominate him. You, know. you understand? Not uh, Asta Black alone vote for himself election there. One vote Asta Black get. So I say Asta Black nana for Asta Black nana wife. Asta Black nana youth. Asta Black youth them there. So if the, 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 brother Asta Black alone vote for himself. Right, you know? Only left teacher him out in will. You know, can't trick me about here, you know? You know, you know can't trick me. I oh, no, can't. Me know people, you know. Me know people. People, people not easy. You understand? Next thing, me go spend all my little life savings and me run for politics and advertise and then sit me and then I, I me vote for myself. I'll go to Scotty if you vote for me. You understand? Eh. Yeah. I tell you in Jamaica, you know, if you want to know your friend, them start on YouTube channel and be an independent candidate. That me, you alone vote for yourself, but you the one vote you get. <laughs> Yo, Jaja, baby, we can move on. I don't. But Mr. Knight, we that talk about Mr. Knight, and boy, Mr. Knight, the man dark like night rasta. Scotty will vote. Do not, Scotty. <laughs> Jaja. Yo. We would have get by a vote. Miss Marie, see me say they get by a vote. Why? I tell you the truth. I don't trust you. Yeah? I don't, don't trust you. I don't trust you. Right now, I cash my thing. I don't take no check. Yeah, I said, yeah, I said, yeah man, I cash, cash only. You see me, no check, no process around here, sir. I don't know, sir. I don't know, probably when I get a little older. But right now, nah. The politics. The politics too grimy and mucky mucky, brother. You understand? And one man like me alone can't fix it. You have to have one, one next hundred like me. You see me? And I mean on both sides. I don't talk on just no one side. You see it? Because I don't trust me either. But I have reached a voting board, Mr. Let me not tell you. <laughs> Yo. 
Aye, sir. Yo, no, Miss Barbs. Boy, Sir Joseph, I appreciate that in a brother, brother. But people they tell Asta Black so they want to vote for him too. I'm poor Asta, say. I mash me, I mash up beside them, mash up Asta. I want when they vote, then don't count. I want Asta Black food for yourself. You understand? I never forget that. Then me, I said, but then me, I see people back Asta Black for nomination day. We want a change. Yeah, you mean I want a money change. You don't want a change. You want shillings. I'm also a change. Asta. I know Asta Black would have even recover. Me, I want no Asta Black not fall in a state of depression. Me, then, me, then, frowns. Me, I tell her. Me, frowns are not even me. You understand? Me, them now nah do a cargo. Say, no, I sell out your friend, them Scotty. Mm. <laughs> Prime Minister, my thing. I'm first thing, you know, next thing, you know, me say, me say all people are talking about you all, about to kill at the road for Prime. You know, Lord kill all of us. You know, think easy for your country. The man is a musician, I, I, I try to help a few people. You know, the man make him help a few people. You understand me, I say, you feel like, say, the truth is the country can't easy for running a brother. You know, you know, sit down and think about it. I want, I want, I want to think about it. And, and, and you know, you know, different politicians. If a politician do something more, we say, yo, that makes sense. We can say, yes, that makes sense. Or that was a good move. For foolishness for both of them. You understand? It cannot be easy to run the country. You can't tell me nothing otherwise. It can't be easy to run a country like Jamaica, brother. It can't be easy. You understand what I say? So, man, feel like say, yo, a pro it cannot be easy. You understand what I say? I have a leadership responsibility at different phases and stages of my life. See? At different stages and phases of my life. And right now, some of them things are not easy for them to just run one country, brother. The truth is that it is not easy to, to administer over their affairs. It's just that the people that we are doing can do a better job or should be doing a better job. But it's not easy. Yeah, so let me answer. Mm. So that go on. No, I did a video summarizing the, the, the tragic series of events that would have led to the untimely, the unfortunate, the sad situation surrounding the death of four parts primary school teacher. 44-year-old Natalie Dawkins. And even after me do the video, because I could have said so much more in that video, Zane, even after me do the video, like, me just, me just leave in a space where me just say, yo, these little boys, man, 19-year-old and two 20-year-old, baby them, Hmm? Killer not going on politics, man. You understand? People think killer fool, fool, and you know? killer no fool. <laughs> killer, killer not going on no politics. I'm music of them and their life, brother. You understand? Mm. Um, I have sat down and I have played this series of events as they were reported by the police. Through my head. Can you imagine how Miss Dawkins would have begged and pleaded with these boys to spare her life? They robbed her. Of everything really. That was the title of the video. She was robbed of everything. Ultimately her life. These three boys. Who were of no value. Based on their current situation. And state of mind. They were of no value. Not saying that they couldn't have. Become valuable in the future to the country, but at this stage, they were or are of no value to the country. And they proceeded to take from the country a productive member of the society, somebody who is trying to make a difference. They triggered their alarm, 
lowered her outside, held her at gunpoint, forced her back inside her house, proceeded to rob her of two television sets, her laptop, the said laptop was sure she had teach people pit me pan. She used probably use a laptop to teach some of them same cousin them or them family member and a brother. Her tablet, her cell phone, her handbag, forced her back outside in her car that they stole from her, brought her to the location where they assaulted her and attempted to rape her. Them look up boy you try to rape the big woman, brother. And how she must have pleaded for her life. But to no avail. And I assure you that at least one of the one of the youth that has been charged will probably plead guilty. Seeking mercy when no mercy was shown to Miss Dawkins. And my take is no mercy for the merciless, brother. They took her ATM card. They withdrew $60,000 from her card. How they may have beaten the woman. To reveal her pin. And probably she just give them probably thinking. They would not kill her. Do you know. How hard. That woman. How much sacrifice that woman. May have had to endure. To own her vehicle. As a primary school teacher. Farm as a teacher, I ain't even making no money. And I am still making more money than this lady. And the money where me make, where more than fear her salary, a chum change, brother. And she sacrifice. And she acquire her things. And them youth when I want to work, decide to take it and take the woman life in the process, brother. Just to show you, so the teaching thing now work out. The woman is a bailiff. I would have done a bailiff work, brother. I prefer to sell back to some banana chips and phone card than go to bailiff work, brother. Because that's too risky. And the lady is a hustler, and them youth are out here. When I want to do nothing but pray on hard working Jamaicans. You take the lady car, you take her TV, then what you need to kill her. And the look of fool them. I try to rape a big old man. But yo, what me think about the thing, you know, yo. <clears throat> And based on my understanding, the man them a try to sell the woman car for two hundred thousand dollars. You don't want your twenty eleven Toyota wish, brother. From Toyota the pony, brother. From Toyota under the pony, brother. It even matter age. You know all ah, the woman have to work to get her vehicle. And you know what evil worse, bruh? The two hundred thousand dollars with the man they must sell the vehicle for. You have man out there with them buy it. How can somebody be selling me 
a 2011 Toyota wish for $200,000 and that no ring some bell. But we no business. We don't matter where them get it from. We just want it. It's a deal. Them are youth when I walk nowhere. Where them get care from myself for $200,000. So they confessed in the presence of a justice of the peace. The woman's ATM card was found in Goldburn's possession. A lady of Goldburn, I think he's what, 20, and Mario Headley, he's 19. You know, they killed Jeff Bedward. The TV sets were found in his house up by Bella's Gate. And the man them tell us that they rob them, rob the woman and kill the woman and you still have to have a contract killing. The man them say I rob them, go rob her and kill her. Nothing else not in there. Peter, what do you mean how they sell the car without a title, brother? The man they don't make title. But Peter, you don't even know what I'm going about. Let me tell you what I'm going about, brother. Yeah, the man them are make papers for vehicle about here, bro. So sometimes if you realize what I go on this is, you know, sometimes you have like car papers they're missing and you say, oh, my car paper. Because the, the man, them teeth, your paper, them going to make paper for your car with them teeth, my lad. Some man are busy about a title car, you are going. Sometimes they don't want the car in the idea, brother. I scrap the man, I scrap the vehicle, but sell the parts of a road boy. So you, want, you, you don't want a title, you don't sell parts with title. So you see all the used car parts places, you see all some of them people there, brother. Them know how to go on nice streets, you know. But them are benefits, you no know, matter. Enough time I scrap them, scrap the vehicle, them, brother, and sell the parts, them. And then the man, them bill papers, you know, brother. <laughs> Ladies, especially ladies, if you live alone, you hear a car alarm go off, make it go on, make nice, man. You don't need to go turn it You understand? Make it turn there. That the board them I use, I trigger the alarm them for you come outside. See, you invest in some CCTV camera to say you can't see where you carry, you can't see around your car, you know what I go on. So people out there, you can't see them. See, if you have to go out there, you know how to before you go out there. <sighs> Manchester gangs are shot and killed. Tariana McKenzie, a member of the notorious Grey Ground gang in Manchester, was shot and killed in the parish last night. Another man was shot and injured in the attack and remains in hospital. It is reported that they were among a group of persons at an establishment in the community of Blenheim when they were pounced upon by a gunman who opened fire. The incident occurred about 8.15. McKenzie was hit multiple times. He and the other men were taken to hospital where Mackenzie died. So residents of the community said that Mackenzie was in the process of completing the construction of a car wash and bar. A new new place him a build up in the area. But most people know say him a bad man. And you know when you're a bad man anything can happen. 
I heard about nine shots last night. But you know, nobody now risk it. Come out to find out what's happening to the resident who requested anonymity. We see him about the place, but we keep a distance. Just sorry I said this happened in the area though, the resident added. Now, Superintendent of Police Gary Francis says the deceased was a subject of investigation, investigations for a number of crimes in the parish and is the cousin of a man formally listed as the parish's most wanted. He said based on preliminary investigations, Mackenzie was a subject of last night's attack as his demise could have been as a result of his lifestyle. Francis is appealing to anyone with information to come forward. Nothing to say about it. So construction workers among triple murder victims in Westmoreland. I was sent the pictures from this scene sometime today, this afternoon really. Um, I heard about the incident from yesterday, but you know, I said sometimes murder thing with us on the pan, so I just think about look at it two times. You see him? Man on the bed, man, all. So at least two construction workers have been numbered among the three men who were shot and killed by heavily harmed gunmen in. Crowder, Green Jail, Westmoreland on Wednesday night. I think I said that pronounced Crowder. Could be. The police have identified the deceased as 20-year-old laborer Christopher Scott, alias Robbie Sheep. Thirty-six-year-old carpenter Crystal Hudson and twenty-eight Tyler Akeem Bent, also of Westmoreland. Reports are that about 11 p.m., residents heard a barrage of gunshots in the community and summoned the police. Upon their arrival, the police found the three men suffering from gunshot wounds. They were taken to the hospital where they were all pronounced dead. Man, you rubbish heap, brother. Rubbish heap. Hmm. Yeah, it's a... Now, we still not finished with the story you now that I just want part of it. A lady on screen is the mother of one of the deceased. Mom prayed while gunmen killed son. Convinced that gunmen were on the hunt for her 20-year-old son, Dwayne Christopher Scott, when they barged into her home in West Milan, Veronica Lawrence prayed through the ordeal that her two daughters would not be harmed. Scott, who is known in his community as Robbie Sheep, was among three men killed in a spree of shootings by a gunman on Wednesday night. You know the other victims, we could continue. 36-year-old Crystal Hudson, otherwise called Enoch, he's a carpenter, and 28-year-old Okim Ben, his alias is Red Bull, he's a Tyler. Lauren said that she was in bed in another room of the house when the men entered. It happened about 10.30 and I know see my son them come for because them just keep on and ask everyone say, I where the boy rubbish sheep there, she recalled. Lauren said the men went to another house occupied by her 18-year-old daughter and held her at gunpoint. They then demanded that she take them to the house occupied by her brother. Then make sure carry them to my son's house. I think, let me see. I am assuming that this is her son's house. Or this is her house and this is where the son was. I think is in this house. Are the two houses them? Yeah. One of them are one and one of the next one. I'm not sure. See, I think other house I'm see the man them on the floor and their bed there and they sit there and still. So I'm saying. They make sure carry them to my son's house. And when them bust inside, my eldest daughter was sleeping in the room. And my son hide underneath the bed. But them still find him and shoot him, she said. 
expressing gratitude that her daughters were spared. I think this may be her son as well. But I, I, I guess I rubbish sheep this. According to Lawrence, a few years ago, a few years ago, her son was constantly in trouble and stealing people's property. But he had changed his life and was now a construction worker. He used to give pure trouble and thief people things. And every time the yard full of police and soldier. But since of late, me now hear nobody come and complain about him. So I don't know what him do this time. The eldest victim, Crystal Hudson, was well loved by residents in the district. His sister, Katie and Hudson, was in tears. Them just kill him like that and left him five children. Up to now, me still can't believe Kadian said. Or a Kadian in a picture. I don't know, but that's somebody related to the incident. I don't know if it's Kadian, this or the brother mother. See it? The Granger police have commenced an investigation into the triple killing, but they have not determined the motive. Yeah? Mm. Oh, so I carried in the picture. So that was his sister. Thanks, Ganaita. Sixteen-year-old boy runs home and dies at the hospital after being shot in Old Arbor. A sixteen-year-old boy was gunned down by unknown assailants along Ascot Drive in Old Arbor, St. Catherine, on Thursday. The deceased has been identified as Joel Lawman of North Street in Old Arbor. He was reportedly a student of Tatius Golding High School in the parish. Now, according to reports, a lawman had left... Well, lawman. Yeah, him named Lawman, eh? According to reports, a lawman had left his home and was walking in the area when he, it is believed that he was shot by unknown assailants. The teen reportedly managed to run home and inform his family members that he had been shot. He was assisted to the hospital where he died while undergoing treatment. Now, a motive for the shooting incident has not been established by the police. And investigations are ongoing. Teacher, I am from Greenville, Westmoreland. I know the area pretty good too, where the incident happened. Jaja. Blessing, Sir, Sir Lawrence. Um, be careful out in I West there, sir, because... Jaja. Said I had a close one yesterday. Ja put an angel over me. Be strong. Will a firm meditation. One day things must get better. Don't you go down, keep your head above the water. One day things must get better. Be strong. So, peeps, the public discourse has been rife, widespread, intense in relation to the acquittal of Christopher Linton O.C. Dogpa from his 15 year sentence for gun related offenses where he was accused of shooting at the police some years ago along with his co-accused Michael Allen he was sentenced to 15 years in 2013 after he was found guilty for shooting with intent and illegal possession of firearm and ammunition so it was 15 plus 15 15 for shooting within 10, 15 for the weapon and ammunition. However, the sentences were running concurrently. So it's not like Dark Power was serving a life sentence. He was serving 15 years. Um, 
he would have appealed and the appeal was upheld the ruling cast aside and acquittal ordered on the premise that the identification evidence was unreliable <laughs> no as to how I feel about this is inconsequential. Suffice to say though that the appeal court has made judgments and rulings before and we have accepted it and, and, and we have been happy with it. Um, I suppose we can only accept the ruling from the appeals court as we have accepted previous rulings before. I mean, it's only fair. Zane, um, Irrespective of how we feel about it, I have seen, you know, the comments that suggest that it is his relations with the daughter of a well-known lawyer politician that might have worked in his favor. I will go to Nalim and say that I have absolutely nothing to do with it. I mean, it is easy for us to say these things, but I will go to Nalim and say that had absolute... I don't even know that he and that girl is still together because I think that girl is now a popular artist baby mother. She like a certain profile of guys, I suppose. But that's not important. Um, and as I said, we just try to bring some balance to the thing. See? And the truth is, we have accepted many rulings from the appeals court before. Zane, that have gone how we think them should go. So I suppose we have to accept this because it's not like the prosecutors can appeal it anyway. The prosecution in Jamaica don't have the power of appeal. Only the defense counsel can do that. Strange set up affairs. I don't know why the prosecution are not given that opportunity it is what it is we have to talk some more now um as i said i don't think well it is in my it is my opinion that his affiliation with his baby mother had nothing to do with his acquittal yeah i mean it, it is easy for people to say that i mean I can't understand why people would say that still but if so, with the case, then probably he wouldn't have been convicted in the first place. You yeah, understand? That is just how the law works. Zane, I have not seen the written judgment. When I read the written judgment, I will have a better understanding of the situation before I come out and make certain statements. You yeah, understand? I think that kind of responsible still. That, that is from me. Zane, I'm going to understand that naturally people would make that. That, um association it is just natural humans think particular ways so that's just how it is but the, 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 i mean the, the girl is still in baby mother because they have a child together but the girl is involved with somebody else as far as i know she's she 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 recently had a child with a top flight entertainer as far as my information is zane um no, we can debate as to whether or not dog pop deserve to come on road. That is one next debate. But the truth is that, you see, sometimes these police officers, when they are making these files, are very tardy, and these are the things that happen. It is important for police officers and detectives, when they are doing their investigation, to ensure that they treat with their investigation in such a way where the evidence is there to convict and even if it is appealed it is a, um the, the the conviction stay so this thing bigger than just the court of appeal freeing dogpa it come back to the investigative capabilities of the jamaica constabulary force so i could open our minds and think about the bigger problem here hmm? So it is quick to jump and say because as she and baby mother, make we look at the bigger picture. The ruling handed down, even though I have not seen the written judgment as yet, said that the identification evidence is unreliable. Zin?
Brother, what does I talk about the thing as it is? Then, then if we can't talk about, about, about a ruling in our country we live in, and what, what, what sense it then, Jay? Like, me not have no fear. I, like, me just live my life. Like, if me can't talk about a, a ruling handed down by the Supreme Court or the Court of Appeal, then why may I pay tax in the country? You understand? I don't fabricate no or nothing. We are talking about the things them as they are known to be. Factually, then me not, me not, me, well, me not, I'm not fear about them things, eh, brother. You understand? So, I respect the suggestion and thing, but if me can discuss a ruling like this, then me, me, not, me, not, me not need to live a Jamaica then. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, that wouldn't make no sense to me. Mm. No. A lot of things have been said, a lot of things are being said, and as I said, I will not address certain things until I look at the written judgment and see why the three justices in the Court of Appeal decided that acquittal was the best way to go. No, so I don't know the part. I can do a video. You understand? Um, oh, there now. So justice was served, says attorney for dog paw and co accused. You yeah, understand? Gen D said DPP mess up. <laughs> and the DPP collect your evidence, Gen D. And if I police them, and the DPP collect identification information, evidence. The lawyer for Micah Allen, who along with Christopher Linton, more popularly known by his alias Dark Paw, had his conviction overturned by the Court of Appeal on Wednesday, says his client received a judgment that he deserved. I believe when you look at the circumstances, justice was served, and to attorney at law, Patrick Allen, who represented Allen, said, I wonder if my family, asked if his client would be pursuing an unlawful imprisonment suit against the state. Peter King responded, I haven't gotten any instructions to do so. Hmm. <laughs> to do that, well, Allen and Linton were accused of shooting at two policemen who were traveling in a service vehicle along Tavern Drive in St. Andrew in April of 2010. The men had denied the allegations at their trial. They were, however, found guilty and were each sentenced to 15 years in prison for illegal possession of firearm and 15 years of shooting with intent. The men subsequently filed an appeal and were acquitted on a verbal decision handed down on Wednesday when the Court of Appeal said the identification evidence was unreliable. Linton, a reputed gang leader, was at one point the most wanted man in Jamaica. Now, following news of the overturned conviction, Leah Tavares Finson, the mother of Linton's child and daughter of Queen's Council, Tom Tavares Finson, celebrated the verdict. She posted the word road with an exclamation mark. And in subsequent IG story posts, the mom of two shared a throwback photo of Linton and her son, which she captioned, When it becomes reality, road me G, freedom over captivity. Babylon say jail for me. The judge say bail for me. Augustone better off with dog paw, says lawyer. Somebody tell the jury, Jack controlled my destiny. Senior attorney at law, Diane Jobson, has dismissed as ridiculous assertions that a monster has been let loose on society in the wake of the acquittal of reputed gang leader Christopher Dogpa Linton. The 28-year-old reputed gangster and his co-accused Michael Allen, who were on another part of something, long story short. See? Um, Jobson, who had represented Linton during the trial, said that the system has failed, but has righted a wrong. No, DeAndre, the court did not say the man is an innocent man. You see, 
these are the, the, the these are the type of comments that I kinda you know find a little bit, you know what I mean? <laughs> Unfair. The court did not say the man is innocent. The court acquitted the man because the identity information was unreliable. The court acquitting you don't the court is not saying that you're innocent, you know. The court is saying that based on the evidence in front of us, it would not be fair for us to convict you when the evidence is not substantial. It is unfair to make statements like that, bro. You understand? It, it, it is really unfair. And as, <laughs> as somebody who believes in fairness, I think we're unfair a lot of the times. And remember, acquittal don't mean innocence. Well, I don't know of the appeal court saying that because I have not read the written judgment. So if you have the written judgment, they can email it to me so I can read it. To see what them say the brother innocent. So if them say it, I will take back what I said this one. But generally, we, we are very unfair sometimes. You understand? Acquittal don't mean guilt. Uh, um, Acquittal don't mean evidence, don't mean innocence, you know. Acquittal means uh, the evidence in the court of law is not substantial enough to attain a conviction. So the court freeing somebody now no means that uh, they must say, yo, the man innocent. It's just that they don't have the evidence. Enough time judge a quit man with them knowing that their hearts are hearts guilty, but the evidence is not there. Yes, and it's, as I said, the court of law and the court of public opinion is two different things. You know why? Because the court of public opinion operates on emotions, while the court of law operates on facts. Two different something. Facts, opinions, different, different, different so. See? And as I say, it's easy for we get up and say, yo, the system corrupt and the system this. It go back down to our politicians. They are the lawmakers. The judges have to operate with the laws that were created by the policymakers, by the legislator. Political representatives make up the legislator. The judges are a part of the judiciary. The judges, they don't make laws. They operate within the confines and the auspices of the laws that were created by politicians. Hmm? That is what it is, you know. So, you hear, like, more time I see some read some things, I just laugh and shave it. I mean, I people really and truly the easy, you know. But only if you just step back sometime and just think to yourself. We only want to hear one man say one thing and all of us jump on what that man they say. Brother, sisters, it thing, you can't dissect it for yourself. You know, if you listen to what teach them say about the thing, you know. Because you can formulate your own opinion. I don't want you to base your, your opinion based on what means. I mean, just share my views and I talk about some stories, you know. Again, the blame should be levied at the feet of our politicians. Again. Yes, the Andre, the politicians make the laws and not the evidence. And that is a very fair point. We can't debate that none at all. That is facts. See? And I say what I said in light of the fact that people are saying that the judges are corrupt. When the judges can only operate within the laws that exist. Within the confines of the laws that exist. And the judges, sir... The judges, they don't collect evidence or the police collect evidence. The prosecutors, they don't collect evidence. The prosecutors treat with the evidence that is presented to them by the police. So sometimes our blame is misplaced. That is all I am saying. And all we need to do is get rid of the emotions, get rid of the preconceived feelings that we have towards people 
or offices and just treat with each case on its own merit. Hmm? But I guess that is hard that said than done. Easier said than done. Me, I'm confused. Watch out, I'm going to move on still because. At the Andre it seems like he might work for Andre. So I need that in the stream. One more fool. Because sometimes I just have a call a speed a speed. Three judges. The all appeal court rulings. All appeals are heard by three justices. And as such, the ruling is a collaboration between three justices. So that is how the rulings normally come about. Now, Sir so Jobson, who had represented Linton during the trial, said the system had failed, but had righted a wrong. Interesting. This is ridiculous, because for the past six years that he has been in custody, it will show that violence in the Augustown community has increased tenfold. The same with the gang activities and all that, Jobson said. <laughs> Some damage is just so hard not to say some things. All I can say is that when he was there, things were better off. And it is not a matter of a gang leader being let loose on the society. It's a person who is the wrongly accused being vindicated. Jobson added that Linton, before his incarceration, had helped to set up a basic school in August Town. Ho <coughs> hosted Christmas treats for children and had also organized a sand mining venture in the community. Everybody hears the bad version of who Christopher so there's a bad version. Everybody hears the bad version of who Linton is and never the good version. Interesting. How he's a community person. <laughs> How he writes poetry and songs. The side that you hear about him in the newspaper about him being a gang leader it's not necessarily the measure of him. Hmm. Jobson said she had always felt that Linton would have been freed and praised lawyers Robert Fletcher and Patrick Peterkin, who represented Linton and Allen respectively for doing a good job. She explained that the main issue in the trial had been the issue of the identification evidence. Now, according to the police, he was traveling at 15 miles per hour and 25 feet away, he saw four people in a corner where there was no street light. The street light was further up the road. And he claimed to have identified four people, she said. I worked out and showed them that the time that it takes for a car traveling at 15 miles per hour to cover 25 feet is a fraction of a second. And somebody who comes under fire at night is not going to be able to properly identify these persons. She said, Jobson said her client had always maintained his innocence, but acknowledged that his reputation had not helped his case. However, since she, well, however, she said he is happy to have regained his freedom, and he had been in, well, as he had been incarcerated at the age of 21. He is mostly looking forward to relaxing, spending time with his children, and maybe writing a book. He is a good writer, she said. Fletcher declined comment until the written judgment is released. Peter King, on the other hand, said that he had always viewed the appeal as credible based on the inadequacies of the identification evidence. The no case submission should have been upheld, he said. Peter King said the family of Allen, his newly freed client, was planning to help him set up a business. <coughs> Allen had learned tiling and might also pursue prospects in that trade. On the blowback in some quarters to Linton's acquittal, Peter King said, The justice system is based on principles on the law, which is there to protect every single soul. Normally, people talk about what other people are supposed to get until the shoe is on their feet. Mother, 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 ooh. mother, 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 ooh. 
Mama, Mama, my mother who fathered me. Yes, a safari. Can't believe so the interview they mess up, you know. Mother, 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 mother. He's not a monster. Dark paws, mom, fierce police retribution. Murder. Murder, murder. The acquittal of Christopher Dark Paul Linton has brought joy to his family, who believes that he was innocent of the charges from the very outset. Linton, 62 year old mother, Clarice Senior, who described herself as a born again Christian condemn the justice system as corrupt saying her son would be a saying her son would be at greater risk of reprisal from the police than by rival factions rival factions <laughs> but why would there be rival factions i am scared in a way because things can rise up but i am more scared of the police because police don't always do their work right senior said Senior said that Linton's status as a model inmate at the Horizon Remand Correctional Center is proof that he was not a bad person. Model inmate? I don't believe everything they say about him because he's not a monster to be going around killing people the way they say. Senior described her son as a good youth who grew up in the church but could have been influenced by his peers but not in the way he's branded. Mother, 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 mother. Ooh. They are not going to do things and let you see, but I never see anything he did. But I don't believe he's guilty. I never fear that he would not come back out. Up to last night when I saw him, he was joyful and humble the same way. The mother of four boys said she's no stranger to tragedy. One of her sons was killed by the police and another slain during an attempted jailbreak. I raised them as a single mother. It wasn't easy, but I managed. Right now, everybody feel good, but we hope the police don't take set on we hope the police don't take set on him, she stated. Senior said she knows that Linton will be stigmatized by some people in the Greater Augustone area. But don't have to stay here, and I don't think he will stay here. Because if they hear shot fire in the community, they will target him. Even though shots were firing when he was away, the concerned mother said. <clears throat> but while Cena is joyous about Linton's release from prison, some residents of the Bottom River community made it clear that they don't want him around. We don't want him down here, sir, said one resident, who asked not to be identified. Identified. Mother, 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 No, sir, don't get two packs and mix up in a day sitting there, brother, brother. That song is too great to be referenced here, sir, sir. I know which part of the song you talk about still, but don't, don't do it. I'm button up my color there. I'm in a, in a button. <laughs> I could have wanted me to choke myself. Alright, where can I, where can I talk about this and go to bed?
Even though I sell rocks, it feels good putting money in your mailbox. I love paying rent when the rent is due. I hope you got the diamond necklace that I sent to you. Because when I was, he was there for me. He never left me alone because he cared for me. <laughs> mother, mother, mother. But mother can remix them two songs, you know. Mother, ooh. Oh, yeah, for next Thursday. Next Tuesday. <laughs> Eh, who you want to see? No, peeps. I tell you no thing about me, you know. Zane, teach, you baptize, make you sip up your shirt. You remember, you in a shot, an interview. <laughs> no way nobody tell us it was no love for my, because the card wasn't, he passed away, and it. Because my anger wouldn't let me feel for her. They said I'm young, heartless. But all along I was looking for her father. He was the hang around with the Turks. And even though this jokes, they show a young brother love. Me tell you no already. I me don't tell you no already. <laughs> Me, if I was a politician, people didn't love me. I me tell you why people didn't love me. I mean, people didn't hate me to you, but I me tell you why more people didn't love me. Because you see me as a politician, you know, as a boy, I slip him slide. Boom. You understand? What's if me come out, come and say, yo, the violence against women need to stop on all of these trees. Has me, I don't me done with you. Just like how when him should not fire up, Brother from out of Spanish town, long donkey years ago. But you am bridging like, he, he might try a wall out. What well, name Weekly? Yeah? He take about 10 weeks for fire weekly. Zane, um, him, them should about real quick. I am a rolling a friend like that still. But you see me? And them look at things. Yeah? Them, them things. JC or Chinsu Dongso, him, them Daryl Vaz, them just rearrange and change to make it look like them do something and them not do nothing. Like when they come out the other day and I talk about a music and crime. I mean, I tell her, if me was him, I didn't come out and say, people, you are going. They say a crime thing yeah, between me and a politician and start if I want a long time run. So, two, labor right and PNP them. You understand? And we know the situation and we know so it still affect me. But I want to make a change. I want to do something different. You understand? No one thing to influence crime in Jamaica. Politics, latch scamming, this, that, 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 poverty, them, something there. But we are trying to fix it. You understand? Instead of come on, come say, yo, what that are the problem. No one thing not, not crying about it. This is a brother, you know. See, if me is the prime minister, and me watch every day, and me even believe, say, sir, are you involved? And me call you and ask you, and you tell me, say, yes. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back. No, because if me don't make you hit the road, oh, me can't go back to my Jamaican people, but tell them, say, yo, violence against women is wrong. I me have a man we are beat up a woman with us too. In a my party, I mean I send him packing. If it was me. You understand? So here is a last opportunity again for the Prime Minister who I don't know is what doing most of the time. You understand? He's he's very indecisive. I mean also you know, people always said due process has to be followed. I tell you, in some cases, due process for God dash three win. Due process don't always do. You understand? Because say, some things you just have to take and make an example with some man. I just saw a thing go. All is fear in love and war and politics. I, I guess. Nobody needs to say the last part. I mean, I had it. Now, leave of absence for a right. <laughs> the Jamaica Labour Party is set to ratify that George Wright, the embattled Westmoreland Central Member of Parliament, go on a leave of absence from the party until investigations into allegations that he was involved in a brutal beating of a woman are concluded. The investigation done, the police them lack the case. So no well on it. Police them lack the case and give it the pillow. Watch out. And the pillow is a stool. You can't sleep on a stool. You can't sleep on a stool. You have a Sit down by my stool too long, much less sleep on. The police then take a case and give you a stool. 
Den tar över för få. Både ni nu så var gas cool. Nej, uh, never mind. Party sources said that on Thursday evening that a marathon meeting of the government members of parliament ended with some disgruntlement about how the party was handling the matter, which has stoked outrage in the society. <laughs> Yo, you want to see Vegas? Link him and make him know, man. You understand? And that's not for the people that start there. They start link their favorite artists and say, Brother, they know me not see a pan teacher, man. The artist and call and say, Teacher, people, they say, Oh, they're not seeing a pan teacher. Put me upon it. I say, All right, I say, All right. We make it happen. Talk to Scotty, make your schedule there. They say, thing. They give thanks. So, no link Vegas and make him know, say, Oh, no, I want to see me. No. You understand? Eh, yeah, that's how thing work. Watch out now. Which are we there? Which are we there? Right is on the he was on the investigation. Right is on the investigation as to whether he was involved in an April 6 incident captured on video showing a man delivering blows to a woman. No, I don't. <coughs> All right, DeAndre, I think an elected represent rep, an, an, an an elected representative cannot be fired by. The party leader, because the party leader never elect him, and the people them elect him. I suppose that is what TVJ was trying to say. However, what the party can do though is some other things, like what they might do now. No, hold on, don't move. Make we see. What the me soon reach the something now. Then eh, hold on, brother. Watch her. What were they? Eh. Right has so far not did well which are right is on the investigation as to whether he was involved in an April 6 incident captured yeah, read that already. Right has so far not denied that he is the man in the video, although he was released from the Freeport police station on Wednesday, where he was questioned. I wonder if he walked with two million dollar put on the counter. It is understood that the woman who was beaten in the April 6 incident reported to the police on Thursday for an interview alongside her attorneys. Sources disclose that the government MPs who participated in an online meeting had been briefed by General Secretary the Jamaica Labour Party Dr. Horace Strong and Olivia Grange, the Deputy Leader of the Government Business in the House. Grange is also the Minister of Gender Affairs. Chang and Grange met with Wright in person in Kingston early on Thursday. But it is understood that the outcome of the meeting was less than favourable. Prime Minister Andrew Wallace, who leads the JLP, had directed that internal organs of the party be activated to meet with Wright over the allegation. Me no want uh, me a meet with Mr. Wright, Mr. Prime. What do you mean? What kind of internal organs? Then nobody. Me is meeting with Mr. Wright. Report to the office of the Prime Minister Thursday morning at 9 o'clock. Where you come from? What's my land? All right, report to the office of the Prime Minister at 11.30 on Thursday morning. We need to have a conversation about the allegations that are swirling around. Argument done. What do you mean, Argan? Brother. Hey, man, say, yeah, man. You see, as a leader, you have to lead, you know? Yeah, I mean, you have different arms at the part with it. But this year, based on the atmosphere that we're currently existing in the country, where women are being... Killed and raped and kidnapped and gone missing and them something there. Eleven thirty Thursday morning, brother. Been not a long talking neither. Yeah, you know, sir. What kind of organs? But uh, what were they? Yes. So a prime minister directed the internal organs of the party to be activated to meet with right over the allegations. Only said the JLP would not tolerate domestic violence. Eh? Brother, from the 6th of April, that was 10 days ago, you know, that hotter than 9 days love you know, and 10 days ago. You know. Which are we there? Who are we Yeah, we did that already. As a political organization, we have a duty to ensure that all our actions follow the due process of the law. So you must say, no, you have to do it this way and that way. I may have to talk to you, brother. Now tell me nothing about the law right now. However, we also have a high duty to ensure that matters which affect public well being and public trust, particularly where public figures are involved, are addressed transparently and timely. 11.30 Thursday morning. Neither wholeness of or the JLP can unilaterally remove, right? This is what DRJ was speaking about earlier. Neither wholeness or the JLP can unilaterally remove, right, as MP for Westmoreland Central. 
but he might be referred to the Parliament's Ethics Committee if he is formally charged by the police. The standing order states that the Ethics Committee shall have the duty of receiving and investigating any reports of civil or criminal proceedings being instituted against any member and making appropriate recommendations to the Speaker of the House. So Mr. Wright wasn't selected, he was elected. So the Prime Minister nor the party really and truly don't have the authority to fire him as MP. What would happen is that Mr. Wright, having done wrong, would look at himself and do the right thing and extricate himself from the post of Member of Parliament. Hmm? Again, the laws, the laws of the laws. Me no make them, me just tell you how them go. They make sense, many times no. But hey, as Adams once said, the law is the law. Hmm. So now, members say them say investigation and you know, the Prime Minister and I want to release it say, Mr. Man for make himself available to the police and all of them something. There. However, the Prime Minister may be a jockey foot on this, bro. Again, I mean, no, so you have a year to teach them the process of the follow. You have to give everybody a future. Brother, may I call you and may I ask you as a prime minister and leader of the party, forget about prime minister, as leader of the party, because I know him call him, him call him judge. Judge, are you that now nice video, brother? Andrew, you know, say, I mean, then I say, judge, oh, you fear do them something there. You know, see what I go on in the country, brother. You know, see them sitting there and try to fight. What kind of food? I like, yeah, what's going on now? Between me and you still, I know, so I can't fight you still. You know. But all the things set you now, you have to do the honorable thing of walking away, brother. <coughs> you understand? Because you know, so we can't support them foolishly, sir. Between me and you, like. So just do the right thing and make we keep the thing moving. You understand? I heart of love said, you know, you see me, because they have a good youth still, but you, 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 you we can't work no more. Then we are gone, gone, brother. And if right have any decency, man, say, boy, Anjo, I don't even know how to reach us, you know, because here we go on. Boy, I don't even know. I look how anger take over me, but I know I did wrong and I'm willing to face the consequences. You understand? I'm sorry for letting down and letting down the team, but you understand? We just have to live and die by the choices we make. Yes, me, but I appreciate the fact that you reach out to me, you talk to me one on one. I respect that. Say so you are going. You know, people them now essential, they love me, you know, but I just forgot to do the right thing, because, you know what I mean? I just say things. Eh? Man, they are going like a friend and company business. I business, I country, we are dealing with, brother. So watch you know, make my story come to bump. I tell them say the police and take a case and give you a pill, you know, watch what I want. So the police have closed the case. The matter is now closed. Well, for now, anyways. I don't know, make me make a police sense, you know. Yeah, I didn't weak like you know, it's so I go. Bill back stronger with George Wright at the fight. Thursday night. Bring a stool. Don't be a fool. The man they use a stool as stool. Right. Well, we can rinse out some things. So when we get a hole, I want we just use it, use it, and abuse it. Now, Kerry, that is the that is the next that is a sixty eight a six that is a sixty four thousand dollar question. Yeah, you son, look out, watch a style, watch watch a tone craft. Yeah. The police have now closed their assault case involving Westmoreland Central MP George. Right? Watch a tone craft. Police sources close to the probe said both the woman Tanisha Singh and Wright have indicated that they no longer wish to press charges. Watch it, Tonecraft. The assault was captured on closed circuit TV. Then camera them on upgrade still. Big woman thing. And I clear his camera them both. Yeah. We give thanks to them still, you know, but they were some clearer camera. 
And, and next thing, you eh, wanna know, look here. First thing, you eh, see them file, eh, them record from a hard drive or them record now nah, clone. Wanna just send out the real file, them now, what kind of, eh, man, a video, every phone, so, it, it screen, and then, then turn it, they're not even, I saw so your phone turn, and then, then turn it, so, and you know, see no, then, brother, then, me can't see nothing, brother. So, send out the file, them, way on the hard drive. You know, I'm a sheet, you know, if you do that. Me can go no on tutorial. Then sit near everybody on a record CCT. It done record already. You don't need to record it with the phone. For you send out the real CCTV them so people can see things already. Every CCTV footage me get a phone record. And sometimes you have on the phone light a record on the computer screen. Yes, I mean, sir. And I understand. But I could go and look on the tone craft. Because I'm in the side of the Towncraft for far out, you know. But through the road kind of rocky, it takes long to reach down the west, you watch it. So now, remember, see, you know. So initially, this fellow, I think DSP Clifford Chambers, his name, our assistant commissioner, one of them, said the woman press, the woman file a report, the man file a counter report. You understand? And then the next day, I hear my back tracks, and I wait for digital Evidence, some sitting, 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 sitting. You understand? I mean, I say tone craft it started. I'm watching, I'm going to go back around this. Eh. So, the Jamaica Constabulary Force has conducted investigations into a physical altercation between Member of Parliament George Wright and businessman, businesswoman Tanisha Singh. Following an exhaustive investigation and interview process that conformed with law enforcement best practices and involved both parties, it is now clear that the investigation into the alleged incident has come to an end at this time. This as a result of the this as a result of the unwillingness of the parties involved. And potential witnesses to participate in the investigation, as well as the poor quality of the video alleged alleged to capture the incident. The video quality poor. Plus a record, a record. So I don't want to see the original one. But but Mr. Wright, after him report to one station run one part, run one place. Miss Sing after she report to one station run one next part, run one next place. Them nobody interested. As a matter of fact, neither person have given the police a full statement. Yeah, sir. Alright, I'm going to see what I'm going. On the afternoon of April 6, 2021, both Singh and Mr. Wright made independent reports of a physical altercation that day. Miss Singh made a report to the Anchovy police. While later that evening, Mr. Wright made a report to the Rambler police. Given the physical state of missing, given the physical state of missing, the police escorted her to a medical facility to ensure she received treatment. She was asked to return to the station after treatment in order to give a formal statement. To date, attempts at securing said statement have proven futile. Mr. Wright was asked to seek medical attention and return to give a statement, at which time he stated that he was unwilling to do so. On Sunday, April 11, a video began circulating of a physical altercation between a man and a woman. Based on the local knowledge of the police, the location was preliminary identified and an officer was assigned that day to identify the source of the footage. On April 12, a preservation order for the footage was served on the holder of the footage and Communication Forensic and Cybercrime Division subsequently extracted the footage. <laughs> oh, I never know so our preservation order can be placed. Eh? Oh, there's a lot of things to learn, you know. 
On the afternoon of April 12th, Abel Donfoot made contact with the police on behalf of Mr. Wright, stating his willingness to attend an interview. Mr. Wright was interviewed in the presence of his attorney on Wednesday, April 14, 2021. Miss Singh was interviewed in the presence of her attorney of her attorney on April 15, 2021. In both interviews, the parties made it abundantly clear that they had no intention to pursue the matter further and would not cooperate with the police investigations into the matter. <laughs> the poor quality of the footage and the unwillingness of persons at the location to cooperate with our investigations made it impossible to conclusively identify the persons captured in the video. However, even if the footage was of the highest quality, the police would not have been able to mount a case that met the best, well, that met the basic evidentiary standard without the cooperation of the parties involved. The JDF reiterates its commitment to pursue seriously cases of domestic abuse regardless of the individual or individuals who are alleged to have committed the act. However, in order to pursue such matters, the police require statements which are of probative value. Despite our best efforts, statements were not forthcoming in connection with this probe. And as such, the investigation has come to a natural end. However, if either or both parties wish to revisit the matter at a later date, the police are willing to resume investigations accordingly. When I see Thorncraft, I am not sure if they were involved or are involved in any form of relationship. I, I don't know. I don't know if they have made up since. <laughs> All I know is that I saw a woman, despite the quality of the video footage, being beaten, being dragged, being draped, being choked, being punched being hit with a stool i saw two persons in the general vicinity one run up a stairs one walk down and probably i don't know so those persons obviously have not decided to play their role and give the police any information either both parties have failed to give the police an official statement and are unwilling to cooperate with the police. So then what does the police do? <laughs> the law is a fickle old lady. No. It is apparent, it is obvious that Mr. Wright was a male and Miss Tanisha Singh was a female. As the leader of the party that Mr. Wright is a part of, not only the leader of that party, but seeing that that party has formed the government and I am the prime minister, if we are serious about 
treating with gender-based violence, whether male and female, female and male, whoever and whoever, this was a grand opportunity for the Prime Minister to seize and to send a resounding message that this will not be tolerated. See? And the simple thing was to ask Mr. Wright to step aside. I am certain he hasn't done that. He has asked for the organs to be activated to deal with the matter. Hmm? And again, this is my view. People look at it and say, but teach, fine, but teach, that's fine. I share my view. You understand? The man used his tool and beat the woman, brother. One stool. So forget about the punch them and then sitting there. The man used his tool and beat the woman. So fine. Based on how the law is set up. Say what you will about that. Based on how the makeup of the law, the thing reach here. So. As the Prime Minister of the country, what are you doing about this? Brother, you have a million seats in a parliament. So even if you lose Westmoreland Central and you still have no cushion, you don't have pillows, then what's the fear? These are the type of situation that lead people to distrust the process of law and order in Jamaica. These are the situations. You can't tell nobody now, send no money no exchange and or probably intimidation or probably cover up or probably curry favor or probably this or probably. You can't tell people that, brother, even if you not go so in a people, it has so it go because we are not making examples of our public figures when them rang up, brother. Which Jamaican, you can't really and truly convince now, say the law works. When a man sit down and look on this, bro. Brother, and I like the man let the woman one time, you know. I beat the man, I beat the woman like I'm pitting in a road boy. You know, I mean, I think you come down to the police, they're not wanting to lose their job, but what the police are going to do? If, if, if the woman now file. Now, now I give the police a statement. The witnesses them now give the police a statement. The truth is that the video footage is 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 whack. Then the truth is what what can the police do? Mister Wright is the one who needs to do the right thing. The Prime Minister is the one who need to put down him foot, whether in a Mr. Right head or him neck or him chest or somewhere, and show the country say I'm serious about this thing. Because the truth is, based on the laws of the land, there is nothing else the police them can do. Mr. Wright and the Prime Minister need to fix things. Now, Miss Singh has decided to stop singing. I can't tell you why. Love her squirrel. Pity. Makeup. up. 
She couldn't get one looking at her with a stool and dead, you know, brother? But I guess Miss Singh is not willing to pursue it any further. So the laws need to be adjusted and modified to treat with these things. So the police have more latitude in which to operate. But the law is the law. And it is hard to convince all ordinary Jamaicans that corruption is not at hand here. I mean, Mr. Wright got reports of the woman assault him, you know? <laughs> Yo. You have submitted no medical report, I am assuming. Then the, what the police say? And as me, I say, it is so easy to blame the police. Poor the police sometimes. God know me feel sorry for them. I suppose you would have other things other than the video evidence that time to, to treat with that still, brother. You know what I'm saying? Well, I can't speak to that in all honesty. If I did, I would be making up things as I don't really know the intricacies of the laws. Like that. I'm, I'm learning as I go along and I'm reading and trying to, you know, equip myself so I can address certain things when they come up. But what Miss Singh has done as well, and, and, and there's this thing, you know, what Miss Singh has done is miss an opportunity to help stem the tide of male and female violence in the country. She has missed an opportunity. I can't tell you why, but she has missed an opportunity. And in my honest opinion, she has let down the women of Jamaica on this one. I don't know if it is because of love or because of what, but seeing so many women being kidnapped, disappear without a trace, raped and murdered, missing, rang up. You understand? But only missing can tell you why she has chosen to go the route that she has. Most disappointing choice. It's my opinion. But the police should charge both with false statements to the police. But the statements were involved. Statements were involved. And they, and they didn't give a statement. They made a report. You understand? So the statements were not taken, but they filed a report. Zane, but they were involved. They're just not willing to continue. So then there's that. It's not like they, they are creating public mischief or making false claims. They, they, they were not false. They just decide not to pursue anymore. I mean, understand what I'm saying, DeAndre. But think about it. See? I understand exactly what you say, but the truth is not, them never give no false statement. Well, Mr. Wright said he was assaulted, I don't know. I guess the lady get too lit off of him, I don't know. She was to return as Kerry is saying to give the written statement and she didn't. Mr. Wright was supposed to do the same thing, he didn't do that neither. You see me? Why do you think so, Rasta? It's a dark day in Jamaica's history again. Even though nobody lost their lives, it's a dark day for many reasons. Zane, and again, this is a missed opportunity for the Prime Minister. And he will lose some political capital here, and rightly so. You understand? Rightly so. Me get, me get the vibe from Mr. Olness that when things happen with him MPs, them, 
him try to see if it will die a natural death. And if not, then them act after that. So let's see how long they will be on this for. Let's see if it is a nine day wonder. If not, then we treat with it again. But we could see if it will fade away. Like Junior Bile said. Brother, you know so much woman are dead, but where does our fade go? You know, fade gone nowhere. You understand? Then I left me sing and did all my mother now. And I come tell me so she not bad person personal charge here. So. <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. Strange this feeling I'm feeling. Oh, your love, we will always believe in. Though you may think my fate is in vain. Till Shiloh we chant Rastafari's name. JJ players, me talk about Mr. Knight long time, bruh. Fanta need moja. <laughs> Uh, Fant and Moja charged with curfew breach. Claims the police were too harsh. Controversial reggae artist Fant and Moja was arrested over the weekend and charged with breaches of the curfew orders promulgated under the Disaster Risk Management Act. I was on Reddill's Road and the police gave me a summons. I don't see why though, because imagine... After me I come from studio <clears throat> and time run out on me and they still charge me. I am a son of Jamaica so the police could have been lenient. After me sing for my country and allow them to stream and generate tourism for my country, why do this to me? Why draw me through court? I will go to court. I will bring the video crew and hype it. An optimistic sounding font and Moja said. The summons, which is dated April 10, requests the entertainer's presence in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court on May 18. The man said, I bring him video crew and I'm going to hype him court appearance. <laughs> Why? The man said, Time run out upon him. Yes, yeah, sir. Fantana, my hygiene still. <laughs> my hygiene in terms of if anytime we buck up, you understand, I have a lot to say. <laughs> but the next time I see him, I have a lot to ask him. Because I say, Fantan, brother, then you know, see, you can't, I want to you and trouble, brother. You need to take trouble out of your backpack, man. You walk up and down with you. You, not, you say, why in your backpack a poor people problem? You walk up and down with Then it look like you dash a poor people problem and take up trouble, Fantan, man. Heavy way you turn trouble, take off poor, take off trouble off of your back, brother. Yes, yeah, son. <laughs> yo, yo. Car friend, you see me. The yeah, man is a load man, you know. The yeah, man they see all the yeah, man they, they be nice and start making you know. it. So, yeah, me yeah, I say, brother, you need to, you need to take off trouble off of your back. Cause I'm say a poor people problem in a knapsack, you know. So me as a brother, you dash a poor people problem and take up trouble for yourself, man. You take up back poor people problem and live trouble, man. So when you walk up and down with poor people problem, you was a you be a big tune and sing, but I walk what? You understand? Mm. It's just a little fashion thing. Him, him. I just a little thing, brother. You know, it's just a part of it. Don't take it. Don't take it serious. You understand? Yes. You know, so I just feel thing that him, a poor people problem in a man thing. <laughs> I don't know the strangest thing, but know exactly how the studio ever come from. It. <laughs> ah, but they must see my day there still. I wish they again. Let me see, April, Friday. No, we don't really run interview for Fridays. Yeah, that's sad. But I know the exact place they must come from because they don't be seeing them from time to time. <laughs> ah. As twins say, Fanta need more jack. 
<laughs> it was a sound like a future. Fontan do work out there, you know. Fontan have tune a story, you know. Basically, Fontan is a man I know still. Why? Fontan, yeah, man, Shaba in the country, but Shaba in the country, if you bury your mother, brother, I'm going to try interview with Shaba at this time. You understand? I mean, if Rexton interested for do it now, fine, but I'm going to go seek him out in at this time, no, say my mother passing my mother. You understand? If you get to me, I said, the Andre, I know I'm there, man. I know. I know. You see me? And you know I think connected and also you know these things, but I wanna try in go, go, go seek out an interview with Shaba, seeing that him, him come to bury his mother, if I get to me answer. You see me? So I mean if because of that it not happen, it just not happen. If if him come back here one next time and it happen, then we give thanks. So you know what I think. We kinda of, you know you know, you know, you know. We know us the thing now, you know, brother. We just make a thing flow off a natural energy and a natural vibration and when it, the time right, the thing happen. You see me? Yeah man, but we now go actively seek out an interview with Sir Gardner now, seeing that he might treat with the past in my mother. I don't say anything set up. So Fontan say quote I go high, but that's the same man thing. <laughs> ja, ja. Yo, more time we see you, we just have a laugh in there. But there's some things that do some things more time with us. Mm. He impressed John, man. Like, me know, me know when him are coming, me know when him coming. I mean, like, me know the thing. I just know, no, you understand? I just saw the thing. Um, as I said, <clears throat> if film people them, cause film, some of film people them, and some of film people them. So, you know, if 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 him interested, if you do it now, it, it, it would happen still. But me personally, now I got to try get it for happen. Seeing that, you know what I think? I just sort of, you know what I mean? Principle, I suppose. So, yeah, peace. Big up on yourself. Um, I yeah, cut it there, so. And thing. I don't hear mass. I'm here, but we play still. So, it look like in Ghana in bed. So, I'm probably going to do that too still. Because, kind of a little bit tired of them something. And, but we're there. We I give thanks. So, I appreciate the ones them. And thing, but the Andre that 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 is a massive interview. If I don't it happen, but you know that's a principle, bro. You see me? Um, and thing Tuesday, like me now uh, Tuesday, Tuesday. Somebody asked me what I go on Tuesday. Yeah, man, when I go here from car, I go Tuesday. You see me? And. Normally, them interview them splitting on two, part one and part two. I'm just running all like, because a lot of fun moments and a lot of serious moments and some highs and some lows and some some laughter and some sadness and the whole the roller coaster and gamut of emotions. You understand? Yeah, man. This guy got himself. <laughs> So, we don't, don't, don't look forward. They, but they don't keep a secret road. <laughs> Peeps, Sunday night teach. Yeah, man. All things being well, me I got stream, me I got me a stream Sunday again, man. Um, and them things. Looking, I, I am, I am, I told you before that, you know, normally people are teaching and you know, talking things and got people are listening. But you know, matter where they, people are going to do it said way, even after you do it. You know, I've been focusing on a lot of the, you know, the foundation entertainers down the years. And you know, the platform which has stayed you now, we think, you know, we can afford promising, talented, conscious, positive, young, emerging entertainers a chance to, you know what I mean, speak with the viewers and, you know, express themselves, you know, a nice to five, ten minutes slot on the channel weekly. Um, artist spotlight. So I think we're going to start that soon too. You know what I mean? So as we grow, we incorporate more and more people because and I just establish artists. You see me? Yeah, them did have to start somewhere too. Yeah, have some people at the start of them thing. And if we can, you know what I mean? I know say, I don't like, I know people not really, you know, but we still give them the opportunity for, yeah, put themselves in front of the people. So, you know, can look out for that. So, Artist Spotlight, you know, we did start that long, long time in the early days of the channel. I think some video, we probably didn't remove them videos there because some of them did start get copyright strike or some of the artists, they did start get a little traction and people start owning their music and the channel. So, but, eh, um, 
But we don't have to deal with the thing and I want them something. So we'll we start again. So I have I have had a, over a thousand young artists reach out to me. And I mean, I'm exaggerating a piece. Saying that, you know, they want to get an interview, they want them song to prom, um, um, review uh, them or video to upload. But you know, we don't do them things. And I think I just the right time now to add some more diverse content to each other. You know, as a go, we don't do nothing one time, you know, everything over time because we're in this for the long haul, you know. You understand? Our job. See, you know, we enjoy doing it. It takes a lot of time and, and, and effort still. Most people don't know. But I mean, if you go and do it like how oh, I try to do it, then you will understand. And I like, we just go, you done up any little thing, and, and your videos and I, I, I pride if I make a mistake in my video, it, it, it aunt me. If in you know, my graphics on screen, my words spell wrong, it aunt me. You understand what I mean? I say, if in you know, a device so far, I say something wrong, I'm going to pick it up until me an editor after the video up it on me if i make a mistake in terms of information it on me every your last video should be your best video you understand me i say so i pride myself on that and i try to keep it that way zane and you know as i say our thing different um we, we kind of see the thing for what it is and understand our responsibility and influence and we try to to be responsible and understand that your channel is a representation of who you are. Saying if you're going to take it serious and not hustle the thing, you understand? I mean, your job is your job and you hustle. You understand? So for me, it's my job and we treat it that way. So we invest and reinvest and upgrade and them something. And, you know, I keep it thing on a level and keep it thing going. Peeps, give thanks. But I want to make it possible, you know. I want to watch a video. I want to share them. I want to tell people about that big head boy. And then sit me. I want to cuss me. I want to love me. You understand? I want to advise me. I want to give me suggestion. I want to give me recommendation. I want to give me word of encouragement. You understand? I want to give me a hard time sometimes. But everything has its purpose. And we treat with everything. You see what I say? You know, we don't always agree. You understand? Some people, when they disagree with them, they vex and take with themselves and unsubscribe and gone. Some people, when you disagree with them, they must say, you teach everything good. I don't agree, but we are still brother. You understand what I mean? I say everything, we're good with that said way. You understand? But I don't say things, but people will be people, yeah, man. You can't please everybody. See, and, and the truth is that if you understand who I am, you know that the truth is I just want what best to my country. You understand? And we just have to see the thing different from, because we look through different eyes. But we, we, don't have to, we don't have to worry about it. You understand? Me and DeAndre disagree almost every street. You understand because his thought process is different from mine. See, but DJ never disrespect me, I mean, never disrespect DJ. But we don't see eye to eye on everything. But I mean, like my brother said, we, you understand what I mean? I say, so I don't say things when you have other people. But some people, the moment you disagree with them, yo, you are this and you are that and you are labor right and you are PNP and, and you are biased and you are just because you don't agree with them, brother. You understand? So you don't agree with me, why me? You, you disagree with me, Ivy. Why me can't disagree with you? I mean, I understand people still, but you see things. Tell the newcomers to go and watch the videos on the channel because enough people is not watching. Yeah, brother, but I saw a thing here in a black champion. The thing is that, and I understand that, when they do certain content, you know, I get the views and what, 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 what other people get because we don't do the negativity thing. But, but brother, you know, me give thanks for my thing and, and I get enough views. You understand? I mean, some videos may not get the views where you think if you get. But I get enough views, you understand? So I don't worry about that. Zane, I do very well just the same. And, and remember, say, it's not always the amount of views that determine certain things. And where the views them come from, it is how long the people them are watching videos. So a whole heap of look at things add up over time. So I don't really make it bother me. You understand? I do very well just the same. And I am thankful. So, because... A man who do a video and get 100,000 views and you do a video and get 30,000 views and you still make more money than him. It's, it's it kind of complicated. You understand? I just saw it. Said. So don't worry about it because if most people are watching video in Jamaica and most people are watching me in America. So out of my 30,000, 25,000 watch America and England and 95,000 watch him in Jamaica. Do the maths. Don't get tricked by how it thing, man. You have to know it thing. You learn it thing. So you can teach them. Pips, big up on yourself. Work good. Step with you. Ja. 
see you travel on the gravel. Sunday, 8 30. Make it a date and don't be late. Don't look for it. Get book for it. I'm out. Thank you for tuning in. Like the stream before you go. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Remember to share the stream with your family and friends and browse the channel for more amazing content. Until next time, walk good, my friends. Teach them! Hey, yo, yellow! Send a message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing.